everybody, and welcome to Drawn and Quartered Fan Edition. Uh, we are very happy to have you guys here, of course. And today we are going to be doing Hawk Girl. Uh, we do know those a little bit changing here in the uh, uh, in the general scheduling, but uh, those things do happen. And uh, I would say to the general world out there who is listening, if you're trying to sell a book, sell your book. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we're doing Hawk Girl today, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Very cool character. A uh, cute character who can be done quite sexy. Uh, Hawkman himself is cool as well, but Hawk Girl is a better choice, I think. Uh, and uh, that was the consensus about, about those who decided to vote. I see McCrank is over there, uh, and uh, he says, Hawk Girl is the bird family. Hail Raven. All right, thank you, McCrank. Uh, McCrank, we do have a seat if you'd like to come in here as well. We haven't seen you in a while. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, guys, uh, let me come over here and say hello to the artists we have before we get into it uh so let me start uh, oh, oh no uh, how dare i i forgot to introduce the most oily one the most hailed bird from the lands of new zealand the pie eater himself booster no it's all right i'm used to being forgotten that's true <sighs> you know the funny uh, thing is he's oh, just a bloody dire episode to try and do is it's it so hard to herd all these artists together it is. It, it's always a work. It's always a work. Uh, but uh, do keep Stress in mind. Stress me out. Stress you out. Uh, uh, Booster actually suggested that we do Booster Gold. <laughs> and we laughed at him. Yeah. We laughed right at him. I wanted. I, I think Booster Gold's kind of cool. <laughs> I think <No>. he's neat. <laughs> Pope Fire says, you picked Hawk Girl? <laughs> Chester, I'm going to be angry forever now. Just can't wait. We I can't I just we can't with you today. Did stuff on the second episode. <laughs> the second episode. Yeah, right. And uh, beside that, uh, I actually am very democratic person. I'm not the dictator you le let me out to be. I actually asked the artists what they wanted to do. <gasps> How dare I? Uh, and but, then uh, he shot down all their ideas because he's a dictator. That's true. That is true. That is fair. That is fair. Uh, but uh, let me come over here and say hello to the artists we got here. Uh, of course, today we have Zachary with us. How you doing, Zach? Zach is muted. Uh, he's decided that he's going to join Pope's Rebellion and uh, protest the Chester for not doing um, what? What did you want me to do today? Starfire, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, sorry. No, we didn't. The pros did Starfire. You guys didn't. Well, I apologize. We'll have to set that up. Uh, we'll come back to Zach when he's uh, he is in the middle of something. It is true. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, oh, he sorry. is here. Okay. I'm sorry. Hi, Hi I'm Zach. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, Hi everybody. I'm, I'm Zach. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> the real Doctor Frank. Welcome says, to the show, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> the real Doctor Frankman says, "Leave Pope for alone, dude. She's the one picking on me. What are you talking about? See, that's how it goes, Booster. That's that's the way the world goes. You get a woman that's, put you, her hands up and scream. Everyone yeah. gets blamed. Damn it." Hi, Zach. Uh, so, Zach, Hello, uh, today we're doing Hawk Girl, man. Uh, mm -hmm. You have an idea? Uh, yeah, I have many ideas. Yeah. Uh, wings uh, and bases that look like hawks with boobs. With boobs, yeah. No, don't forget the boobs. They should <laughs> be right. special yeah. boobs. The now, that's the important part. Now, now let's have a yeah. general consensus now. Um, is Hawk Girl a double D, a C, or a B? What is I the was going to go with girl? double G, but hey, whatever. No, no, see, I don't know. Uh, I've always seen Pope Girl, uh, Pope, uh, Pope Girl, that didn't work at all. Uh, uh, Pope Fire's in my head now. Uh, Hawk Girl is being more of the younger Hawk girl, more girl? nubile, more smaller. What do you guys think? What, what is the general uh, consensus on the artist here? What shall be the Hawk Girl B. boob size? <laughs> Bees? Yeah, I'm do Anything B. bigger than off the ground. Okay, off the ground. Oh, there you go. That's a that's a that's unless a size. they're pumped with helium. <laughs> Lies, Chester is a bully. Damn it, Bankman. <laughs> uh, Who promotes bullying? Well, true, but you know, um, on true. this particular case, it is true. Uh, but uh, and we have a, a, a siege says D. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Uh, but uh, good luck to you, Zach. Uh, should be uh, actually you're looking forward to see what you'll do, with Hawk Girl. You got that great depth of art. Uh, well, let's move down here. We got Mike, uh, Mike Dalton, with us. How you doing, Mike? Howdy, howdy. Doing good. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, so, are you ready for yeah. Hawk Girl today? As ready as I'll ever be. Well, come on now, Hawk Girl's yeah. a great little character, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll be able to crank something out here. Uh -huh. And and I, I I do expect one of you guys to have Hawk Girl bashing in Booster Gold's head, please. No, don't 
do that at all. Yeah, we definitely need that. <laughs> or do I technically win because I got you guys to draw Booster Gold on the fan edition? Uh -huh. Oh, maybe. 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 Even if it oh is a maimed man. one. Uh, do keep in mind, guys. Of course, yeah. we're about to start off here in a few minutes. Uh, but uh, we do hope you draw along with us, as you do every week. Uh, and uh, def definitely put that in the hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Love to see what you do with the uh, Booster Gold uh, uh, and uh, Hawk Girl and uh, Ezra Miller, uh, because all those things will be a thing, and, and we know that. Mm -hmm. uh, as so, Ezra Miller yeah. is Ezra the official Miller. mascot of the fan edition. He is. He is. Uh, that is very, very true. Uh, and uh, another thing you guys can do is, um, uh, if you could, hit that share button and let uh, all your family and friends and extended community know what's going on because uh, we want to have more of the merrier in here enjoying this great art show. Uh, it's always fun every week, and um, thank you very much. And uh, Pope Fire is laughing because, you know, obviously she and I are goofing. You guys do realize Pope Fire is one of the founding members of Fanspeak. You guys know that. She helped us mm -hmm. a, a lot in the beginning, actually. Uh, we mm -hmm. actually owe quite a bit of Pope Fire. We love her very much she is one of us uh so if you i'm assuming everyone's joking as well if you think we're actually fighting it's so. kind of that's the joke i suppose guys uh but um <clears throat> uh, moving on uh, like, uh happy to have you here mike uh we have uh, joshua metz with us yeah. how you doing metz oh i'm doing all right trying not to robot out you are though we should be fixing the internet here mm. you uh, are, yep you're I the master it, of robotics. i knew it would happen yeah. I knew it would happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. For me, roboting and Mets goes together. It's this thing in my head now. Fox gives. <laughs> Fox it gives. Oh, well. Uh, moving down here, we have uh, Todd. Todd Mulrooney is in here. Uh, Indycom TV guy mm -hmm. and a great artist, of course. And he's actually deigned us with his presence, guys. Everyone bow. Three, two, oh, one. I'm bowing. Bow. Ooh. The bow is done. Nice. Nice. Bowing. Um, you know, you know, Chester's character has pouches, but I'm not drawing any pouches on this character. Okay, you don't need pouches, no. uh, and uh, there are versions of her that have no pouches at all. Right. Yeah. Right. Just stay away from the Thanagarian uh, version of her, you know. Uh, but um, uh, happy to have you on here, Todd. Uh, happy to have to see your art doing uh, Hawk Girl. I think you probably do really well, actually. Oh, thank you very much. I just don't know if you're going to pull a Jiminy on me and not be able to do two hours. Mm -hmm. I've been known to not Ooh. finish in time, haven't I? Yes, you have. You have. Oh. At, at once, I think. Maybe twice. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. <laughs> it happens to the yeah. best of us. <laughs> I, I have that issue, too. Don't worry. You, but yeah, with who? Oh, that's me. right. You do have wallabies. That's true. That's true. Um, but, yeah. uh, all right, uh, thanks for coming on, Todd. Uh, let's move down here. We got Doug Dougie with us. How you doing, Doug? Doing pretty good. Glad to be back. Excellent, man. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, now, we're doing Hawk Girl today, and uh, I'm hoping uh, you will give us uh, something very dynamic and interesting and uh, something that offends Booster as, as much as possible. Don't, don't offend Booster. Uh, yeah. I got something in mind. He does. He does. There's something <laughs> happening. It is cool. It is cool. Hey, all please, right. no bully, man. <laughs> what accent was that? Hmm? Bangladesh? Uh, I was like, please not bully me. <laughs> Is that your Mexican now? <laughs> God damn it. All right. Hawk girl. You see, see Chester. Hey, Eric, you know, there's a link in the chat uh, in the uh, Discord if you want to come in here and draw with us, dude. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, two Eric. Spaces. Eric. Eric. Hawkins. You Hawkins. Hawkins. You want to be the favorite Eric, don't you? Yeah. Get in here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for coming, Doug. And of course, we got Bullet with us yep. too. Oh, Bullet, that is an awesome, awesome piece you got. Wait a here. minute, you got me drawn on a stain show with Bullet. Thank you, oh thank you. God. Uh oh, dude, Bullet's uh -oh. a good yeah, artist, I'm, man. I'm, what I'm are you on, on about? Uh, this I'm is on the a stain show. Bullet has been bullying Todd. I've noticed. Yeah. That's the Eeyore of the internet. Everywhere. Oh, <laughs> no. Everywhere he goes, he's just been bullying him. <laughs> no, you didn't, dude. No, you didn't. It's too true, though. It's too true. Uh, but uh, uh, nice to have you here, Bullet. Um, uh, it's a great piece Thank you're working you. on here. Uh, so Hawk Girl, man, that, that's kind of right up your alley, I think, dude. Yeah, I just found out it was Hawk Girl like five minutes ago, so mm -hmm. we'll give it a shot. Oh, we've been playing this for a week. What are you talking about, Bullet? Yeah, right. right. Oh, of yes. Course. Okay, yeah. Sorry. 
We do apologize. We were supposed to have a guest on. Of course, you guys know we changed the format here uh, to where we have indie creators on. And uh, that person canceled on us. It looked like it was a bit wishy-washy yesterday. And then it seemed to be confirmed. And then it was not confirmed. And then canceled. Uh, we apologize. We can't. Ha we can't. Uh, you know, last minute cancellations happen. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's unfortunate for them because, I mean, you, I can't think of a better place to be than the, the fan edition if you're trying to sell a book. Uh, but uh, I can that's, think of five. Okay, well, so we're number six. Fine, I'll take that. Uh, but, yeah. uh, you know, it's too bad that they did that, <laughs> but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, but I think doing a very classic character that everyone knows is an easy replacement uh, for it. And there were a few uh, suggestions. Yeah, Silver Banshee, you're right. It is really good looking one, uh, Nick. I agree. Uh, but uh, other than that, we do have a couple spots. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do have two spots. Uh, so if we have a couple artists here in the chat or people who have access to the Discord, if you want to jump in and do Hawkgirl, please do. Uh, we'd love yeah. to have that, but it is Message time to be on the Twitter, harass me, whatever. Yes, yes, or in the mm -hmm. chat. DMs open. No. Mm -hmm. In the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. Booster, uh, we're gonna have to start this out. We are sitting on our time. Oh. So yeah, uh, yeah. I did it last time, and I proved how you're supposed to start it off, right? Uh, I don't I showed, think you did. I demonstrated it. I, I think you made everyone's pee pee soft with yours. Wait, 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 last yes, time. but see, you that's because... Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to get baited. I'm not going to get baited. I could have said something very smart, but I'm not going to do it. Because this no, is do only it. PG. Do it, Chester. Plus, plus. Do it, Chester. I'm not doing Say it. Say it, Chester. Bastard. Say it, coward. <laughs> Say it to my face, Chester. <laughs> Booster, start this off. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to do the most sexually deviant hawk girl of all time? All time. I will yes. begin the countdown. Five, four, three... Two, one, drop, go! Wow. <laughs> I feel so particularly oh, like you... trans why... by that. <laughs> why are you channeling Shia LaBeouf? I don't understand. Just do it! <laughs> well, you just ruined it just with that. I thought that was like really <laughs> testosterone driven, but just with that one, you just. Dis... Uh, you know what? Start over. Cancel the show. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Pull the plug. That's okay, Eric. No problem, dude. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, we just, um, <clears throat> because with some of the switches and stuff, uh, people were planned for that. And they don't want to, you know, it is what it is. I get it. Uh, but uh, this is going to be fun. Um, I actually like Hawkgirl quite a bit as a character, so it should be cool to see. We were talking about Scarlet Witches, too. I think that would have been a good choice as well. The old classic Scarlet Witch. Although, I don't know about uh, uh, you guys, but uh, I never really cared for Scarlet Witch's outfit, though. It's yeah. a little dumb. I'm not gonna lie. With the big, oh, was it the big mask thing with the big spikes going on? I don't yeah, know what's like going the, on. Almost really... helmet like oh, mask. How about yeah. the big, uh, big titties? Uh, wasn't she started out like, as a villainess? With it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Robot. You had something to say? Yeah. You know, big spell that came with big titties. I mean, that, that that's was true. A classic. Well, that is true. That is true. Yeah, she was she was blessed with incredible sweater mouth. And... Yeah, I think what he's trying to say is, because uh, I know you guys can't hear him, uh, but I think what he's trying to say is Scarlet Witch was uh, well endowed. She was well endowed, yeah. But things are all going to change now, because you guys heard that uh, Magneto is now going to be a black dude. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah. The black That's dude. That's very yeah. strange. And yeah, Denzel strange. Washington might be him. <laughs> Denzel Washington, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You know what the sense. thing about that, Chester? Yeah. That, all those articles that were circulating about that were going on how it's a it's rumored to be uh, Magneto being a PSC and everything, right? Yeah. I I am very suspicious that uh, some of these media people got together and uh, started this rumor just to get that going, right? So that Maybe. when it turned out, Maybe. if they didn't cast a black person, right, they would all go, "Look how racist they are." Yeah, I think they started. I think they started this rumor. That's true. But see, the problem is, is uh, Magneto is already a, uh, already a POC. He's a Jew. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a Holocaust survivor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so and now dumb. Magneto's gonna be a slave, man. Is that My what it is? My daddy was shot by the police. <laughs> he was shot by the police. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. as they were about to shoot him, he stopped the bullets, and that's when he realized they had magnetic powers. That's actually kind of a cool idea. I'm writing that down. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, John Dillard's here, and he has something to say. He says, if I was available, I would jump on the fan edition. I'm not the kind of scumbag who only shows up if con it's content they like. I would love a seat at the drawing table uh, and to rub elbows with Chester. Well, thank you, John. Uh, and you say you're not available, but you're chatting. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That sounds pretty available. Mm. And also, I disavow that statement. Anyone can come in or not when they when they choose. I feel. Of course, that's true. Uh, Dillard says, uh, "What a black man as the massa of magnetism." <laughs> Massive magnetism. Massive magnetism. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Lady Celtic Moon says, well, it's been a long day, so uh, head to sleep, guys. Bye, Lady Celtic Moon. See you. Oh, good night. Uh, mm-hmm. Which is the main part of this character, Gurr, Eric says. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> she's she's rather distinctive, right? I mean, the wings, of course, are a big part of her. Uh, her warrior way, her mace, I think, uh, is another big part. Although, uh, it's usually drawn as a morning star, not a mace. Uh, but although, I'm sure most people have no clue the difference between the two. Uh, but nevertheless. Um, Except your Dungeons and Dragons story. players. Except for the D&Ders, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But, you know. Um, I think it's cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys do with it. Uh, I've always liked uh, Hawk Girl. She's, um, she's really been kind of cool character to me. I prefer her... Uh, uh, her character her art uh over hawkman but although although i have to say hawkman comics can be pretty awesome sometimes dude uh who's had that great run uh, a year or two ago with hawk hawkman dude it was a really good run with hawkman recently I'm afraid i've uh, never read a hawkman comic really but uh was Brian you mean us uh, you mean <clears throat> savage hawkman or uh no uh maybe todd knows here uh who was it dude it was brian hitch and uh i think benedetti yeah it was a good run dude Really well done. I believe um, Engelteen has been ranting about that series. Gonna, a- ranting about in a good out. way or a bad way? Yeah, if, in a good, a good way. Yeah, it's a good series, dude. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, uh, McCrank said the skill level is too high for me joining this time around, sadly, uh, <laughs> that I can't draw feathers. Uh, dude, this guy has zero confidence. Every time we say, dude, that's a great piece, he's like, yeah, it sucks. It sucks sucks i thought norwegians had more balls than that mccrank i mean you guys invented black metal what are you doing yeah right (laughs) (laughs) the real dr brakeman says uh you have to draw hawk girl with resting bitch face can we not maybe Mm -hmm. well obviously my hawk girl is i grew up with her right bruce Timms from the just sleep cartoons that's my hawk girl Oh, yeah. She was awesome in that series. Yeah. Well, I like. It was the... a. Uh... <coughs> hmm? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say it was a strange choice because I uh, was it the original seven. She. Did she replace him in that league, or was she just kind of uh, put on there? Can't recall. Not well, to... um... right. She essentially replaced Aquaman because he wasn't really on that show as much as other characters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, you, you talk about the. Uh, I don't know what Justice League was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, I watched all those things with my kids. Uh, they had, where did it start out with this? Because uh, Batman was too early for them, although I did show it to them. Then they had, what, Superman and Batman? Maybe is where it started for my kids. Um, and then uh, they had the Justice League, uh, a few seasons of that. Then they had Young Justice or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, Teen Titans, maybe. Uh, but uh, that was a mm-hmm. great run of really good DC TV shows. And uh, Hawk Girl was yeah. wonderful on that. I, I thought it was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really cool too, because if I didn't have kids at that time, I probably wouldn't have saw them. You know. Um, so uh, that was actually pretty fortuitous, I'd say. Well, good timing then. Mm-hmm. 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 Now uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, everyone should read Hawk World uh, Mini by uh, Tim Truman. Uh, it's a masterpiece. Thank you very much, Nick. Oh, Although. Yeah. There was something recently I read that had Hawkman in it, and it was an absolute debacle. Um, something about, uh, I think it's where the uh, the Joker who laughs, or the Batman who laughs came Batman out of Batman who laughs. Uh, it came out of that. Oh, <laughs> it was like some crisis. Right. Thing. That was horrible. Right, it was based on the whole uh, metal event that, that was going on. Metal. And, uh, Hawkman was That's one of the centerpieces in it. Yeah. I have no idea what the hell was going was on. dumb, dude. Death of Hawkman? Was that the one? Yeah, no, it was, the, it was the metal run. I, I didn't really care for metal. Uh, I know people are all hyped on mm-hmm. it. There was some interesting art, but I just thought it was so it was so clunky in its writing and uh, in the end mm-hmm. result. I mean, it was like, okay, we got to finish it. It's done. You know, it's one of those I things. Like, I like Scott Snyder a lot, but 
I don't like it when he uh, d tries to do big concept all that much, really, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, it kind of felt like a J.J. Abrams film. Uh -huh, uh -huh. was what it felt like, and that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. I understand it's not a good thing. Uh, but uh, I know, do you guys like metal? Uh, no, I could not get into that one. Yeah, I didn't like it either. It, yeah, like you said, it, it felt like it was rushed, you know, and then mm. they were trying to tack on all these new characters with the result of it, and I just that felt forced as well to me. It didn't feel like an organic creation yes. at all. That's right. Yeah, they didn't. It was well, poorly written. And uh, the whole Batman Who Laughs thing, which I know was quite popular uh, when it was coming out, and uh, uh, is that one of the ones that Ethan was uh, one of the creators on, the uh, uh, Batman Who Laughs? No. No. No? no? Are you sure? So. Yeah. I don't know. You can ask him. He's in the chat. Greg Capullo. Oh, was it? Okay. Because I, I thought because uh, I thought Ethan was um, uh, was somehow involved with that in some way. Uh, he says uh, Hawk Girl is one of my favorites. Uh, really good stuff, everyone. Yeah, no, Hawk Girl is awesome. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> that one uh, all the way to be uh, to the right. Uh, yeah, I haven't really started showing them yet. I will go ahead and. Uh, uh, start doing them. Uh, yeah, no, Zachary does some pretty good stuff. Uh, he does a lot of shadowing, and uh, in the end, it becomes this really, <clears throat> almost like an artistic piece instead of an illustration. It's quite interesting the way Zach works, uh, but uh, I'll leave it on here, uh, Zach, for a little bit, and I'll keep moving down the line, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, no, the uh, what do you, what do you guys think about uh, the uh, the Batman who laughs? What, what do you think about that character, the idea of it? I think he's cool. I like him. Yeah, he said he drew the Green Lantern one. Yeah, I knew he was involved somehow in that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. I can't remember what that one's called. Um, I can't remember half those Batmans, to be honest. I really liked Batman Who Laughs. That's about it. Really? Why, though? And, Just uh, tell me why you like him, though. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah. He's like he's Batman. He killed everyone. It was kind of rare. I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, that was really insightful. Thank you very much, Booster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good job. <laughs> <laughs> I just think so, I'm cool. I'm kind of out of the loop on it. I'm kind of out in the loop on it. What's the premise? I mean, I, I just really kind of lost track of a lot of. So it's DC like a whole stuff. dark multiverse thing where there's another multiverse, and it's all like the, all the dark energy resides, right? And yeah. then there's a bunch of Batmans who win uh, evil and psycho in their different universes, and they mm -hmm. all got together in one big. Justice League Batman evil thing, and uh, the Batman who loves is the Joker version, because on his universe, Batman killed the Joker and became the Joker, because there was gas inside of Joker's heart that turned him evil, and uh -huh. then he went around okay. and killed all the, the Justice League, and that wasn't enough for him, so he went through the uh, multiverse and conquered that entirely, but that wasn't enough for him either, so he picked up the other multiverse and then started conquering that instead. <laughs> Wow, he said oh, that man, booster. <laughs> wow, booster. Um, yeah, but uh, it, for me, it's once again more of this taking the villain uh, and making them uh, sympathetic or even good and taking the good guy and twisting them into a villainous thing. I'm kind of right. sick and tired of it, to be honest with you, uh, particularly the things they do try to do with Superman or, or anybody, really. And uh, uh, Batman is not that. Wait, Stop it. With a Superman. Stop it, right? Well, Bendis, you know. Oh, God, I said it. Oh, Bendis. <laughs> I do apologize. Bendis. I started something, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Joe Maroney uh, says, uh, The Batman Who Laughs idea is interesting when you realize uh, that the Joker was based on the character from Victor Hugo's The Man Who Laughs. Interesting. It is interesting. That's Thank correct. Yep, much. yep. Uh, John Dillers has something to say. <clears throat> I do apologize ahead of time. He says, Chester, not everything has to be deep on another level. Some things uh, just have to look cool. And nothing is cooler than Batman and the Joker uh, in one. Okay, mm. I guess. No, maybe? Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, mm. And by the way, Zach, uh, uh, Ethan is in here and uh, he says he'd hire you. So. Oh, there dang. You go. That's a huge compliment. Ah, pitch, pitch World of Goldman quickly. Uh, oh, he's go listening. check out World of Goldman. <laughs> it's my uh, Indiegogo. Uh, it's all painterly and stuff kind of like this and that's uh, it's that's it <laughs> no I, I could do a lot better uh thank you for dropping yeah, in there picture Pixel. for me chester i, uh, I just yeah uh, really, i just remembered who Ethan that is, is. Oh, that's really cool and literally just sweat just went 
Yeah. Uh, no, um, uh, his the world of Golma, of course. We will uh, take time uh, throughout the show to talk about everything everyone's working on. Uh, but the world of Golma is on Indiegogo right now. Uh, definitely go over and check that out. The link has been dropped here. I think Pixel dropped it. Uh, no, he's talking about uh, Comic uh, Artist Pro. Uh, Booster, uh, drop in the World of Goldman link, please. Uh, and uh, uh, definitely go over and support uh, what these guys are doing, of course. And uh, if it's if you look at any of these Indiegogos that are happening, of course, you guys know we're a big part of the Indie Revival here. Uh, then, uh, and, and if it is something that you're not interested in backing, even at a digital level, uh, we would ask you at least to share it out. Uh, because that's one way to help, right? Uh, just uh, hit that share mm-hmm. button and let your family and friends take a look at it. Maybe they like it, and then they can share it out, and more and more people can see it, right? Uh, uh, so we do appreciate that. But, uh, Mike, uh, uh, just to let you know, you are being white box right now. And uh, you're going with uh, a more very straight-at-us uh, type of hawk. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to quick and simple. Quick and simple. You have two hours, sir. Yes. That's quick well. and simple. Okay, <laughs> I get it. I get it. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do keep in mind, everyone, that, uh, of course, this is a two-hour show. Uh, the only law we have uh, here is uh, very simple, no color. And that's simply to keep it fair between the traditional artist and the digital artist. Uh, so, uh, But they have two hours to get that done. And do keep in mind, we really do appreciate draw-alongs. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's something that, uh, of course, Edwin uh, Boyette uh, started over on the uh, Pro Edition uh, on Black Lish Universe. Uh, and uh, he started doing it. We thought it was cool. We, so we stole that, too. You know, we're, we're good at that. That's what we do. We steal mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, so uh, that's how we yeah. stay alive here. Yeah. That's how we stay alive. It's brutal yeah. around these parts. It is. Uh, but uh, definitely draw along with us. And all you have to do is go to Twitter and put in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. And uh, drop your art in there. We'll take a look at the end of the show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so uh, I see El Rodimus flashes in here, and he always does some really good stuff. So uh, I'm kind of curious to see how a Kiwi and Ezra Miller and a Hawk Girl go together, El Rodimus. Oh, gosh. I, 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 hey, uh, I, you know. That sounds like a party to me. I don't know what you're saying. It could but... be a party. <laughs> it could be. Accepted it, Rodimus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I see Tank Ferret Artisan here. Now, Tank Ferret, I expect to see a draw along from you, too, sir. Uh, and uh, do keep in mind, guys, uh, today's show, of course, with the fan edition is PG-13++++++. Uh, uh, we do allow a lot of freedom here for our artists because uh, we... boobies. Well, you know, boobies are a part of it. That's true. Uh, although on the fan edition, we tend to be a little bit more PG. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we open it up and allow that here. And John Diller is speaking again. <clears throat> Chester, do you have a separate drinking fountain for the colored art? You racist... <laughs> what? Where exactly is that coming from, Dylan? Uh, oh, that's such a lame joke, but yeah. it's kind of funny. Yeah, I do. I have a taco fountain. How's that? How do you have a taco fountain? Because he's a Mexican. Work? That's why. Stick oh. with it. It's a racist joke. Oh, Chester, no. What do you mean, no? Oh, you know I don't. I'm not cool with that. Well, you're a Maori. I mean, come on. I, let me think. I Give me a second. I'll come up with a good joke for Maoris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up with a good um, Maori joke. I bet you know all the Maori stereotypes, don't you? No, nah, no, not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Someone help uh, me. Maori Someone help me. People. I need a racist Maori joke. Quick, in the chat. I have a question oh. about Hot Girl because I'm not familiar with oh, Go eat your aunt. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Zach. Um, is it, is she, she, uh, basically when she dies, she, her power gets transferred to someone else or something. I can't remember. Uh, I, well, I vaguely remember something about that. How techni- does that work? Technically with Hawkman and Hawk Girl, uh, they are lovers from ancient Egyptian times and they've been caught in this, um, uh, when they die, they're reborn and eventually they find each other again. Basically it's, um, uh, the general concept I think is coming off the, um, uh, I guess most people see it as the Asian story, although it's much older. Uh, but the story of the uh, uh, star-crossed lovers standing on the bridge, you know, one's in the uh, reflection is in the water, the other one's in the stars, and they could they they uh, always can see each other, but they only get to meet each other like once a year. So it's it <clears throat> it's that kind of Isn't base that, concept. Like, but it grew Altair from and that. Vega? Is that what it's called? Huh? Altair and Vega. Is that is that the one you're referring to? Okay, fine. Uh, but that was the, one of the, the one early ideas uh but uh, it grew over time but yes uh they do reincarnate yes hmm. uh you are white bikes uh, mets by the way 
You know, Booster, I don't understand. Why do we still have Raven and Pope Fire Hails going on? Uh, isn't it been like over a year? It's, it has been a whole year of this. They, yeah. um, this is why you gotta you got to squash those jokes as soon as possible. Or they get I out guess. of hand. I let them too much freedom. Yeah. Uh, we get you they don't hail me and right it pisses me off. <laughs> oh, really? No, they don't. That's true. Just hail the Kiwi. Hail the Kiwi. Uh, no, Star don't, Teller. I don't want your pity, Hales. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. All right. All right. We know you better than that, Booster. Uh, Star Storyteller says, Maori may have engaged in cannibalism to get someone's mana. Um, <clears throat> I said uh, racist true. joke, Star Storyteller. Joke. <laughs> it's not funny. And uh, and for clarification, I don't think I have even the slightest bit of Maori in me. I am... English with Swedish heritage. Dude, you were telling me about that grinder date you had, and there was certainly a Maori in you. I disavow that. <laughs> I, uh, I disavow any Maoris in me. If anything, I'm a power bottom. And, uh, a power bottom. But that's, that's beside the point, however. Uh, well, well thought. Oh, a power bottom is a bottom that generates the power. Is that it? Uh, Todd, you're being white boxed, mm, by the way. Uh, um, it is crazy. You know what's funny? Because... Like a big ass or something. <laughs> no, no it's funny problem. because I didn't know what these things meant not too long ago. And these 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 perverted people, deviants over here, have taught me many things. Uh, like <laughs> grinder and bottoms and subs. I didn't know none of this. Horrible people. Horrible. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, with uh, naughty. You are naughty. Don't forget uh, rusty trombones. Oh, God. Damn. Oh yeah, and rusty trombones. It's horrible, course. horrible stuff. How could we forget? No, we 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 are forgetting. We're forgetting right now. Thank you very much. Uh, John Diller says, "I had a taco that. fountain at my wedding. No way, that was my bachelor party." <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, uh, I do love me some tacos though. Uh, Joshua Hughes says, uh, "We will never stop worshiping Raven Chester." Well, fine, Joshua. All right. <laughs> it's also almost uh. been a year, and his name is still Santa Raven. True true my name yeah, is still chester that is, busby that is strange it is i guess <coughs> oh Aronimus is making an attempt at humor in new zealand is she haka girl <laughs> wink wink okay fine uh you don't do the that one hurts booster. so bad i might quit I'm sorry. I uh, didn't uh, blame Elrodimus. <laughs> it's not my fault. All right. I was actually made to do the hucker at school a few times, and uh -huh. there is nothing sadder than a short, chubby, pasty white boy attempting to do the hucker. It is the saddest thing you'll ever see. Hey, I think I do a pretty good hucker, man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like just... Leave it to them, Maori. You know, it, it, it's cool when they do it. And our, and our it is cool, dude. Team, it's very cool. Please, please don't do the haka. Yeah, um... Uh, of course, uh, we have the uh, uh, Rugby World Cup is coming up here in Japan. Or actually, I think it's already started, maybe. <clears throat> but I know mm -hmm. next month I'm going to see a game. I'm going to see uh, uh, England, actually, is the match I'm seeing. But the, uh, actually, the, uh, the All Blacks are going to be performing or, or playing uh, in the stadium mm -hmm. near me, actually, uh, next month. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. Sweet. I, I hear they're pretty good. I don't watch it, but you which don't is watch like rugby. A, How do you not watch, like watch rugby? Sin. You're a New Zealander. I know it's like a sin here. Don't, don't tell people I don't watch the bloody rugby. I, I, God, dude. I don't like sports. It's boring. They're like, well, they heffing a bloody ball around. And it's like, uh, when's someone going to shoot the other guy in the face? This is boring. I want to play video games. <laughs> oh, goodness, <laughs> Doug, you are being white box, just so you know, dude. Oh, well, thank you. Booster, there's more to life than GTA. That may be your opinion. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's also your opinion because there's other games in GTA. Sure. Well, yeah. Well, do keep in oh, mind, guys. And mate, <clears throat> although we know <laughs> that... Uh... I'm just throwing it out. Why couldn't he have just been... He said stab, too. I mean, you're just... Uh... You're just... You're leaving out other oh, oh. options. <laughs> well, oh, my apologies. Do keep in mind, however, uh, even though we all know New Zealand is uh, one of the more sporty uh, countries on the planet, uh, a lot of people are very fit, a lot of bike riding, a lot of sports, a lot of things like that. Uh, do keep in mind that Booster is from Britain. It explains everything. Mm. 
It does. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. yeah. You're, you're, you're from Britain. You live in New Zealand. Yes. What? 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 What led to that? My mother's from New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> there it is. So. The, the, uh, were you expecting an epic story? Because that's that's like that's all. No, 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 no. I wasn't expecting anything like Lord of the Rings or anything like that. I was just like, it's like, where's where's the connection? You and must you take say, the baby to New Zealand. There, there is a connection to Lord of the Rings. Throw it into Mordor. What is it, Tuck? <laughs> if you saw his feet, you'd know. Ah, mm -hmm. I see. No one, see. no one needs that. No, no one, one needs, needs that, that at all. No. <clears throat> Not at all. You know, my wife was actually having a chuckle at New Zealand this morning, which is quite interesting. Uh, because, well, because they're suggesting that the uh, Prime Minister of uh, New Zealand be given a Nobel Peace Prize for uh, something. What's the reason? Don't, don't, don't make don't make me explain it. No, please explain it. I want to know. You're a dick, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Come well, on. Now. Come on. Well, a little, you know, a little incident that happened in Christchurch not too long ago, right? Uh -huh. uh, and the swift response with gun control, uh -huh. and she also went around apologizing to Muslims while wearing a hijab. <gasps> wow, that's nice. Which is racist. Yeah. I was going to say, fucking embarrassing. Oh, me. there it is. There it is. One, one. Uh -huh. He gets one every show. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you know, I, I I've never bothered voting before, but I think I think next uh, election, yeah, I'll be voting for whoever's not her. I see, I see. It's such a silly thing. Um, it's like giving Barack Obama the the uh, the peace prize. What exactly did Forgot he do? <laughs> <laughs> I believe he uh, didn't pull the troops back and continue to go to war. Uh, and then uh, like uh, watch the Bill Blur strikes. Stand up, yeah. Yeah. Have you watched the Bill Blur stand up? Yeah. What? Oh, I have Paper Tiger. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm. Bullet, you're being mm. uh, you're being white box right now, dude. Um, <clears throat> now, um, uh, let me go back over to the chat. Uh, Nick is uh, is chastising me for being bad because I retold that joke. I do apologize. Oh, and no. um, uh, Dillard, you also also oh, that's a bad word. I can't say bad words. Eric Hawkins says the taco fountain goes along with one of my draw along posts. All right. And once again, I hope you guys are drawing long. Hashtag DNQFE. Uh, Joshua says, it's Christmas all year long for po Pope Raven. Once again, why is that still going on? Uh, hey, uh, what do I need to end up on the show? Well, all you have to do is hit that Twitter link down below to me and say, Chester, put me on the show, and Chester will do so. We'll get you in the Discord, and we'll get you moving right along. Uh, love to have you. Always uh, happy to see new faces, of course. Uh, Uncanny Kodiak is in here and says, it's not racist, it's racial. Racial is fine. Just ask Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, Combo Bob's. Hey, Combo Bob. Uh, just stopped in before work uh, to like and share. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, Bob. Uh, uh, Kodiak is continuing. He says, uh, Chester, I just got a job as a bouncer. Any tips? Uh, well, uh, sure. Uh, try not to hit people. You see, uh, the job of being a bouncer is actually not beating the crap out of people. It's keeping. I think that's this... why you wanted to be a bouncer. Well, then, oh, then a lot, and a lot do, and they make that mistake. Uh, the job of being a bouncer is making, keeping things from happening. It's keeping the calm and being observant. And uh, when you see a problem happening, so you know, <clears throat> there's your tips. And don't date so, the strippers. And don't date the strippers. God, don't date the <laughs> strippers. Although, although date a stripper, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Bob is mad at me though. No, Why? He's pretty mad at me. Why? Because of Team Lacey. Team, why? What's wrong with Team Lacey? Oh yeah, no, he didn't like it. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's really upset about that. <laughs> hey, I wrote her up, man. She's pretty cool looking. I made her badass. Well, that, I, I'm, I'm working on that painting with her armor. Oh, tell me what kind of armor set she has, so I can I can. Well, right now, chainmail. Correct. Chainmail. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And is it full body or is it? It's just chainmail. You can draw it any way you like. Chainmail bikinis oh, are all right chain in my book. Bikini. Yeah, chainmail bikinis right. are good. Yes. <laughs> I love being chain field bikinis. I love that piece of art I saw years and years ago. Uh, and, uh, Red Sony, I think, <clears throat> in the chain mail bikini, and there were arrows sticking out of every piece of chain mail and nowhere else. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Nice. And I don't know why they complain about it. I mean, it's it's beautiful stuff. Chain mail bikinis are awesome. They are awesome. They are awesome. They are. Absolutely. 
Uh, Eric Hook says, okay, guys, going to bed. Uh, good luck, everyone. Uh, go back, Advo uh, uh, Advocator Presents and uh, Celebrity Ghost Hunters on Kickstarter. Awesome, dude. Go check that out, guys. Uh, Star Storyteller, so briefly date a stripper. Yes, yes, definitely do that. Yeah, uh, because mm -hmm. strippers are bendable. <clears throat> oh, and, <laughs> oh. Yeah, and it's kind of a nice thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Did I ever tell the story about the, the two strippers I, I ended up dating and getting in trouble for it? No. No, no I haven't. I haven't no, told that story. No. I think I've heard no. this one, but I I'm think you should tell no. it anyway. Oh, well. No, no, I'm saying no, Chester, please don't. Really? I'm, I'm saying My wife is right there. Zachary, yeah, this is. Uh, uh, yeah, you I, might be I, new I, around here, but Stripper Story Time is a foundation of this channel. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I was working in this place, a place called Caliglia's, actually, uh, which is a great name for a stripper club. And uh, I was working up in there and, uh, you know, just doing my job. And I usually didn't really, you know, date the strippers because uh, you got to keep in mind that when you're when you're doing that job, the strippers are constantly doing these uh, lap dances and all kind of stuff, and they get horned up, right? So they're looking for some release. So you got to kind of watch yourself with that, uh, being a bouncer, because they kind of try to release on you, right? Uh, but there was this one girl. She was just too damn hot, man. I, could, I, I couldn't. I was weak. I was weak. Uh, so uh, I started dating her, right? Uh, but the thing was, is she and her uh, her roommate, who was one of the other crazy ass strippers at the place, uh, who was just a rocket athletic body. Uh, but they actually were sharing a place together and renting. You got to keep in mind, strippers make a lot of money, right? They they make a lot of money. Uh, and uh, but they had this place that was just kind of ridic ridiculously expensive. And uh, I ended up moving in with them, right, and sharing the rent with them uh, because well, yeah, I was playing music in New Orleans and stuff like that at the time. <clears throat> but um, and I'm dating this girl, right? And we're sitting there in 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 the bedroom, right? And uh, you know, doing what and what. And uh, uh, the other girl knocked on the door, uh, and she kind of peeked in. And she, you know, we're sitting in the bedroom, you know, in the bed, right? And she 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 literally said, "Can I join you?" And I was like, uh, "I said nothing." She's a very smart man, I am. And uh, the the girl I was dating at the time, she looked at me. She says, "Well, it's up to you." And I was like, "Well, uh, I'm fine. I'm I'm okay. I'm willing to help out." Uh, so uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's how you're ready, <laughs> right? So I did that I'm for a while. Uh, but that was fun. That was an interesting experience uh, for a while. And then, but what happened was, is one day I was sitting on the couch. I wasn't working that day, and uh, I was just kind of hanging out. And the other girl, not the one I'm dating, the other girl who had been in with us many, many, many times, get that, keep that in mind. She came on and she just coming up, started rubbing up on me and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, whatever. So I ended up in, in, you know, in the bedroom with her. And then the girl I was dating came home and she caught us and she got mad, and I didn't understand it. We had been together as a three, three some many times. What are you complaining about? But she was really ripped off, and that was the end of that. So there's my stripper dating story. Uh, mm -hmm, you have mm -hmm. to remember, you're dealing with a woman. Yes, I know that. I understand that. But she was not happy. She was, she was really. But they were screaming, and yelling at each other. They didn't yell at me much at all, actually. They were mad with each other, actually. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> it was my Chester. It was mine. Whatever, but it was uh, <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, uh, so let me see here. Kenny uh, Cody says, "No, I thought it would be better uh, to be a dude, bro." I don't understand what that means, uh, Mike. You are white box, uh, but, but they hired Mr. me because I look intimidating. Oh, I see. Uh, he's talking about the bouncer thing. Yeah, well, that's a big part of it is how you look, actually. Um, uh, he says, "I'm married, and my uh, wife is hotter than any stripper." Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Actually, you know, it's worse though. If you're married, working She's in a strip over club. His shoulder. What do you say? <laughs> She's looking over his shoulder right now. Uh, she might be. Uh, but actually, it's it's a lot harder because <laughs> if those uh, strippers, if they know you're married, man, they're going to come at you a lot harder, dude. Yeah, they really mm -hmm. do. Uh, but um, but yeah, no, intim being intimidating looking is a big part of it, actually. Uh, 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 Siege says Zach's got this one. Uh, maybe he is kicking it, uh, but I see some really good stuff going on here as well. Um, and uh, of course, we're looking at Mike's right now. And I see no wings yet, Mike. Thank you, Siege. No yes. wings. We'll get there. Thank you. We'll get there. Ghost to Henry says stripper time. Story time is a requirement. Okay. Uh, Eric says, Chester, <laughs> dang it, I was going to bed. I'll listen to the story in the morning. All right, fine, dude. Uh, Joe says, uh, keep a lot of Purell on hand. <laughs> 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 uh, 
No, say, 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 say good night, uh, everybody. Come here, come here. Okay, oh. fine. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> no, Daddy. Your friends are stupid. <laughs> now she's telling me to be quiet. Yeah, you, you're. <laughs> she's right. That's adorable. Yeah, that's okay. cute. Now we love kids. Um, uh, is this Three's Company up in here? Joe says, <laughs> I, you know, it was only for a short time, but it was an interesting experience. I say that. Although I, you wouldn't want to maintain that for a long time, though. It's very exhausting. Uh, Ghost Henry says, mm -hmm. uh, how to be a bouncer one-on-one. -on -one. Look intimidating and rip people's ears off. Yeah, there you go. Good mm -hmm. to go. <laughs> Tear them right off. <clears throat> Tear them right off. teeth. Yeah, when, yeah. Uh, well, it was with the hand, but, you know, close enough. Uh, the Neil Cunningham mm -hmm. says, oh, what do they want? If the uh, come at you harder... Uh, lol, uh, but on the uh, on the real, uh, well, they they do come at your harder, dude. Because women do that in general, right? If you if you're looking uh, looking for a girlfriend or just looking for a date, uh, mention that you have a girlfriend or that you're married or something like that. Uh, because they will, women in general will come at you because they start thinking in their head like, well, what has she got that I don't have? I'm better than she is. Yada yada yada. They do this. It's mm -hmm. kind of a female mm -hmm. thing. Uh, and if you're working at a strip club and they know you're married, well, now they really want to challenge their ability better, to be better than this woman that you dated, right? Uh, especially because you're in a position of authority and strength as a bouncer. Uh, you are there to protect them. So this this whole this whole uh, nuance of the job. Uh, so just keep in mind, if you work at a strip club, it's probably better not to tell them you're married, dude. <laughs> Todd over there. <laughs> why? Why do you keep complaining, uh, Todd? What's oh, the problem? No, no, no. no. I'm just uh, working this stuff out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Meds, you are white box, by the way. Uh, do keep in mind, guys. Of course, you don't like my stripper stories. Is that what? Is that what it is? No, no, no. Oh, I love your stripper stories. No, no, no. It's nothing to do with that. <laughs> love them. Love them. Love them. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I did do. work at a, a strip club up near Springfield uh, uh, um, uh, in Massachusetts, and um, uh, uh, there was it was a pretty raunchy place. And uh, there was actually one of the strippers who well, she she dripped a lot. She was a dripper. Oh, what? What's the name of it? Uh, uh, Foxy <laughs> Lady, maybe. That's, uh, are you sure that's near here? It was up near Springfield. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it was, I think it was the Foxy Lady. Maybe it was in Providence, have, though. Maybe have you ever been to Springfield, by the way? Of course, I've been to Springfield many times. I go to the Springfield Fair, I don't know, ten times in my life, eleven times maybe. Oh, it's going on right now. You know that, right? Ah, oh, Springfield Fair is awesome, dude. Yeah, it's one of the best fairs in America, I'd say, actually. Uh, but um, what was I talking about? I forget. Uh, but uh, let's see here. A stripper. Oh, strippers. Yes. Yes, don't tell them you're married. Let's definitely don't do that. Uh, what do they want if uh, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know, but it's... I don't know if you work in a strip club anyway. There's many different type of bouncers. Uh, women are poachers. Dude, they are. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ghost Hunter says, tell them you're studying to become a priest and celibacy is required. That's probably worse, <laughs> actually, dude. Mm -hmm. That's a temptation. <clears throat> don't drip and drive. Yeah, no. No, I remember that girl because the owner was to get so angry at her. Uh, he was he, he couldn't stand that girl. I don't know why he just didn't fire. She was pretty, I guess. Uh, but um, I don't know. That might be interest uh, interest them as well. You know, I think it certainly would. <clears throat> Moving down here, Todd, you are being white box right now, uh, and uh, uh, we actually can see a little bit of what you going, got going on, but you have a lot of the background uh, layered out right now. What do you mean by layered out? Well, you work in layers, right? You have, like, because uh, I was looking before, you had a lot on the page. Now it's just, like, the outline on the page. It's kind of how you work, though. Right, right. I had a Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of uh, glue and separating certain elements and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's looking good, mm -hmm, though. Mm -hmm. Definitely looking good. Uh, yeah. She brought in the money. <clears throat> Strippers make a lot of money, actually. 
Uh, do keep in mind, guys, uh, at the end of the show, of course, we will be doing our draw along, taking a look at it that uh, when uh, Booster drops the straw poll in for you. Uh, and uh, we'd love to see you guys drawn along. Just keep in mind, go to... Uh, I have to do a straw poll. Yeah, you do need to do a straw poll. Go to Twitter and drop in the hashtag DNQFE. Uh, Don't do the at because Booster will be very put out with it. Makes it. it makes me angry. It, it just... It makes... It... <laughs> Uh, Uncanny Cody says, no, Chester. They are called strippers, not dippers. Shame on you for the mispronunciation such a thing. I do apologize. Booster for the win. Now, I'm assuming Booster is I doing agree. some Ezra-inspired hot girl, I'm assuming. Uh -huh. Oh, shit, I haven't been drunk. <laughs> you <laughs> haven't been drawing. That. It's your job. God. Uh, my, my, my job is to watch the Discord, watch the chat, watch the Twitter, do the straw poll. <laughs> I can only do so much. Well, how much do you expect me to pay you for that? Hey, you guys are telling me at least oh. pat my head and say I'm a good boy. You, you are a good say boy. You're I'm, proud of me. I'm stroking your head right now. Good boy. You never told me good what boy. you thought of uh, the wolf's logo. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's uh, it would be better if there was some kind of assassination going on. You know, we're we're talking about mm. the wolf, by the way. Uh, but uh, I like it. Yeah, his name is a Flying Sidecar Press. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I think it's cool oh, looking logo, dude. It's really nice. Actually. What's he? What's he up to? Is he doing something with that? What's going on? He's uh, he's venturing into a new world with IndyCom TV. So uh, why don't you tell us about that, oh. uh, Todd? Well, he better not oh, be well. ditching us. Oh, he is. He well, definitely that, is. He's gonna be taking a that piece of crap. No, he's not. He's not ditching you at all. No, yes, I wish him no uh, uh, good luck. I wish him ill will. He had a bit of a headache today, so he wasn't really uh, available for, for fan speed. But... Was he taken down with the vapors as well? The vapors? Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that a, a fracking joke? <laughs> no, that was a uh, uh, a weak and soft joke, actually. Oh. He did have a little spill out of the back of his truck, though. Oh, did he? I'm sure he doesn't want to own it. Yeah. Well, tell us what he's doing over at Anycom TV. Well, we um, we've kind of made him a a, a bigger role to uh -huh. take care of uh, knocking heads. No, um, just to take care of managing inside the group and and uh, cheerleading and stuff like that. I mean, this is volunteerism, right? Right. So, I just need someone. We just needed someone to have a certain voice in the group that would kind of see where everyone's at, what people are doing, and then maybe, you know, tell them, hey, if there's something we can do to help, yada, yada, or we can, uh, you know, and, and you also need a cheerleader because it's really hard to get people to, you know, because everyone has lives, right? They have jobs or they have lives or they're doing their own thing. So you're getting, you're hoping that like, maybe one thing a week for you, and we're not really seeing that, but uh, we're not pushing for that either. We'd like to get more out of some of the people in the group. Uh -huh. So we brought him in to... Uh, Be a taskmaster. A little bit. Oh, a little I bit. see. I see. Yeah. At least John Diller got the joke. God. Oh, that's good, though. Uh, DeWolf, uh, and he seems pretty excited about it, too. Uh, and I like what you guys are doing in Indycom TV as well. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Indycom TV, you should definitely go check it out. Uh, there's a lot of creator uh, content over there. I do a show on Sundays uh, at 10 a.m. in the morning called Coffee Akihabara as well. Uh, but um, I I'm just doing that thing. There's a lot of people who are really deeply involved in that. I'm just kind of on the periphery, actually. Uh, but uh, definitely check it out. Uh, John Dillard says, Star, you should draw Hawk Girl putting her mace through the skull of Hawkman and Black Canary in bed, clutching uh, her pearls. Okay, or, you know, now, mm -hmm. I get it, John, but you know what would have been a lot funnier? If it read more like, uh, put a mace through their skull of Hawkman and Can Black Canary in bed, clutching his pearls. See, that would have been funnier. I'm trying to help you what, what, what I thought was her pearl necklace. Uh -huh. uh. Oh, God, whoa, hold on. Now, now we're getting dark and twisted, Booster. Said PG thirteen plus plus plus, not depravity. You can't control me. I guess. And we were just talking about strippers and you and stuff and. Hey, what? that's a wholesome <laughs> profession. Mm. 
I'm going to go Marge on that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, Doug, you are being white, bo uh, well, white box, dude. Uh, could you back that up? God, look what freaking Doug is doing, dude. Dude, back that up. Where did this come out of? This has snuck up on me, dude. Uh, can you back this up so we can see the I, whole picture? Uh, I disavow this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would like it. <laughs> dude, that is oh, sweet, no. Doug. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. That was great. Very yes. nice. Mm -hmm. Talk oh about God. strippers. I got a stripper story for you. I embarrassed right, a stripper ahead. once. Okay. I, I embarrassed oh. a stripper once. I've, I've only been to a stripper club once. It was for my uh, bachelor party. Uh -huh. And I'm just kind of, you know, a, a, a hometown boy and all that. And the first time I was there, I was completely mortified and just kind of struck. In. And one of the guys got her uh, lap dance for me. So she's sitting there lap dancing. I'm just so embarrassed. And so she gets embarrassed and she just can't dance anymore she's just like covering her face and covering herself and it's like i felt so bad embarrassing a stripper mm. oh wow yeah she must yeah. have been new they get jaded pretty yeah. quick dude uh, okay yeah she might have been a new girl <clears throat> actually the new girls are kind of funny uh most of the strippers uh the new ones they either make it a week or they don't make it at all huh yeah yeah and some of them do get like that. If they, they feel any kind of nervousness coming out of you, they just back right up. But uh, it's it's a, obviously it was a new girl. Okay. Yeah. Well, you think about it. It's something different for them. I mean, it's not – they're not actually a prostitute technically, right? But the, they right. are getting up there. They're trying to be sexy. They're trying to dance. Uh, there's a lot of uh, self-consciousness involved. It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, you know? So what Separate. you're saying is nice job. Nice job. Yes, good job. <laughs> she didn't want to embarrass you. Oh, that's interesting, Star Charter Taylor said. Uh, but uh, I do love what you're drawing here. And, of course, your uh, subject matter is perfect. Uh, although I think it would have been better if the bird were a little more squeezed. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. <sighs> a little more damage taking place would have been better. But it's all right. I'll accept it. All right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Check his true nature coming out. Uh, but hey, 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 now. <laughs> I think I've been showing my true nature from day one, haven't I? <laughs> hey, you're pretty. You're pretty uh, transparent. I am. With yeah. What you're with your who you are, yeah. which is very refreshing. So. Is it? Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, because a lot of people, you know, they put on a mask when they when the camera goes on, they put on a mask. And then when the camera goes off, they, they take off the mask. But I imagine that your mask is your face. It so. is. And it's a beautiful face that is bearded. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no. It's okay. Thank you very so much. So actually dude. seeing your face, like for some reason your voice doesn't match your face to me. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Because you, you look like my dad, and my dad sounds to <laughs> be like you. Well, so. I'm probably <laughs> old enough to be your dad, I think. Yeah. He's old enough to be a daddy. I am. I have children. I have adult mm -hmm. children working in the world, you know. Little boys. Well, my daughter's not much younger than you, Bister. Oh, really? Hmm. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Chester, isn't that one of those things you're not supposed to say? Well, I, I, yeah, I now that I know. My wife. <laughs> my wife. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, dang that's very dangerous, Chester. <laughs> Well, actually, I'm, I'd probably be scared for any dude that uh, tries to uh, hook up with my daughter. She is uh, very critical. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but uh, maybe one day. We're still, we have hope that uh, she will marry and have kids one day. Uh, the boy I know will. Uh, man, as a matter of fact, I kind of stick on him making sure he doesn't have one sooner. You know, rather later. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, dude. It's the problem the kid has. It's the same problem my brother had, actually. He's super popular. Everywhere he goes, he's always got a lot of friends around. People always want to do stuff for him, and that sounds good on the on in the uh, uh, you know in, initially, but it's actually not. It makes you kind of lazy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm always on him about um, you know sticking to it, uh, focusing. And and now that he's you know in university and doing so well, uh, I've backed up because he's doing what he was taught to do. Uh, but uh, it is a problem, dude. It is a problem for him, and that's particularly with girls, because he's always got girls clinging on him, you know? 
got it from his dad? Well, maybe. I mean, he's a little taller <laughs> than the average Japanese, uh, so that's helpful. Uh, and uh, he's not a bad-looking kid at all. He's and he's a rugby boy, so he's he's athletic. Um, but um, yeah, no, I, I I do worry about the boy some. Um, but uh, so far, no problems. Uh, he's he's doing really well uh, in university, so it's all good. But I still keep my fingers crossed. I just being a dad, I suppose. Uh, we got uh, Pablo Romero Art in here. He says hello. Well, hello to you, sir. We haven't had you in here in a while. We'd like to have you come back. Uh, we have Edwin as well. He says looking good. Yeah, there's some really nice stuff, Edwin. Matter of fact, I'm going hey, back Edwin. over to Zach today, who's got a great piece. Uh, Uncanny Cody X says, cocaine is so 1980. Can you say Adderall, meth, Kodiak? What? When the hell are you on about? Uh, poor guy, uh, Ted says. Uh, now, do uh, keep in mind, guys, uh, we appreciate you coming in, but we'd love to have more people. Uh, so if you could hit that share button and let everybody know what we're doing so they come join us. Uh, do keep in mind, we are live streamers, and that's what help us, helps us the most. Uh, I do get yelled at by Denali because uh, I don't uh, push the subscriptions and likes and bells very much, uh, which I, I apologize to Booster, uh, Booster and Denali and DeWolf and everybody. Uh, go sub and hit the like button and that bell thing, please. See, I did, it. I did it. I did mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I mentioned it. There you go. Uh, but uh, really, truly, sharing is what helps us the most, I think. Uh, but uh, we do appreciate you guys. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, uh, we do a lot of things here on FanSpeak. Uh, we have a show every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we have a uh, Bugbear's Basement where we're running a D&D game right now on Tuesdays. That's kind of fun. Uh, tomorrow we are off. Uh, it is our day off here at, uh, uh, at FanSpeak. Uh, but I am going to be joining Todd and Zach uh, on the Pontificators with the Art T-Bear on RT Bear's channel. Uh, Booster, uh, could you throw that link up for me, please? Um, huh? and, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. RT Bear, please. Um, and definitely, like him. Yeah, he's really cool. Of course, uh, he's a legend, uh, but he's also a very interesting fellow. Uh, but definitely go over and check mm -hmm. that show. Uh, we're going to be talking comic books and uh, you know what's going on with them and around them very directly. Uh, one of the things a lot of us uh, uh, here in the indie community, we talk about comic books, but we also kind of get off on pop stuff and uh, you know, having a good laugh at the SJW nonsense. Uh, and, uh, but that show is very much about comic books. Uh, so uh, definitely go check that out. Uh, and, of course, on uh, Saturday we have our fans speak in TFT this week, which is Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern oh, Standard Time. We are talking about thing? mysterious murders or mysterious mm. deaths. I Actually, that makes it more broad. Mysterious deaths. Mm. On TFT. Like what, say, like Princess Diana and all that kind of stuff? Princess Diana, uh, you know, um, uh, things like Marilyn Monroe or uh, Epstein mm -hmm. maybe would be a more re recent one. You know, things like that. Yeah, yeah. It should be fun. And TFT stands for Tinfoil Talk, by the way, guys. Uh, and uh, we talk about a lot of things. If you haven't seen that show yet, go back and check it out in our past videos. They're fun. Uh, we've had some great ones. I think probably the best one we had uh, was talking about Walt Disney. And we had a lot of guests come on that day and had opinions. It was very strong. Uh, uh, everyone, uh, uh, I loved it personally because <clears throat> one of the things that's uh, these days with these uh, progressive types, uh, they love to hate on Walt Disney. They love to hate the guy. And uh, the simple fact of the matter is if you go back and study his life, that was a great man. He's an important man to American hi uh, history and cultural creation, actually. And uh, he gets a lot of disrespect that he does not deserve. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. definitely check mm -hmm. that one out. Uh, but uh, in general, you know, we have a lot of things going on here, and we'd love for you guys to be part of it. Thank you. Uh, but, uh, Zach, uh, nice-looking piece you got here today, dude. She's, um, you, what, what is this emotion you're trying to convey here, you think? Um, rebirth, resurrection, that, or I was going to black her out and make her bloody. Uh, it was one of the other ones, so. Um, mm, I'm cool. It depends. Yeah. Yeah. I, might, I might do two versions. I see. Well, I kind of felt uh, that she's about to murder a lot of things. That's that's a good feeling. Okay. All right. Good. I'm on target. Kind of I'm on target. Sweet. Yeah, All like right. this, the, the tilt of the head psychopath sort of thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I like the rebirth idea. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, now, of course, I've moved over here onto Mike now. Uh, Mike's got a really nice outline going on here, with Hawk Girl, and now the wings are starting to take shape. So uh, uh, she looks angry, dude. She's not happy. She's not a happy girl. Yeah, no, she's ready to ready to roll. I was kind of expecting yeah. some of you yeah. guys to do kind of the girly version of Hawk Girl, you know, the, instead of the woman. Uh, I was kind of expecting to see that kind of uh, young teenager look, but not, no one took that. Oh, well. That's because she's Hawk Woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's... 
Uh, John Dill would like me to ask uh, Booster, what the hell is a Princess Diana or is? Princess Diana? I think you must have mispronounced it. Is he having a laugh at me? Is that it? Is he... Is he making fun of my mannerisms, my voice? How do you, sir? Well, we all do. I mean, you know. No? no. Well, it's a weird thing because you you live in New Zealand and you got all them wallabies, yeah. uh, but yeah. you but you don't sound like a New Zealander at all. You sound like some That's kind of poof the Brit. Uh, poof. Uh, well. Uh, uh. Does he know what a you know what a puff is, right? Booster? Of course I know what a puff is. Uh, yeah, it's you. <laughs> it's you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the booster is swinging now. <laughs> Pablo, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Pablo says, Zax looks like she is saying, meh. <laughs> that's funny uh, do keep in mind guys you got about an hour left here about an hour uh, looks good too we've got to have some pretty finished pieces here and uh, Todd you are right on schedule man it looks nice thanks <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of wondering about Zach though I mean he's he looks like he's done and there's still an hour left he's hey, fast and looks good that's not <laughs> fair of course, I am curious what uh, the guys are doing the draw along, like uh, El Rodams and such. Mm-hmm. And if uh, we do hope you are guys are drawing along, and all you have to there do is take few, your draw yep. along, go to Twitter, put it in hashtag DNQFE, and drop it in there, and we'll check it out at the end of the show. Uh, can you check it, Booster? Is there anything going on over there yet? Yep, there there is there is. We have we have some movement. Uh, there are people putting unrelated things in there, which always annoys me. Don't do that, mm. for goodness' sake. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, we have got some stuff going on there. Did Ethan drop one in today? Uh, I don't believe so, no. No, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> you know what I'd like to see is Edwin, and thank you very much for coming in, Edwin. I'd love to see Edwin do a draw long piece of art. I think that would be fun. Oh, yes, mm-hmm. he should. He should. Yes. Yeah. Mm. No, he has to. Or no, I'll he has cry. To. Yeah. Well, you know what, Edwin? I know you're working on a book, or you're in collaboration on a book. Uh, we'd love to have you come on in and uh, uh, to the fan speak and uh, let us talk about it. You know, I think that'd be a lot. That'd be great. Be great. Uh, Mayor McCheese is here. Is Edwin an Uh-oh. artist? Wait a minute. Is Edwin an artist? No, mm-hmm. but um, I mean, neither no. is Booster. So. No. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. allegedly, I think I've I've drawn enough now to be an official artist. Maybe, and you've gotten better. I mean, we joke, of course, a lot, yeah. but uh, you have gotten better. It's true. I really haven't. No, not really. Thanks. <laughs> Just trying to be nice. Trying to get you a, a little bit of love. I got to balance it, you know. I have to, I have to manage your ego. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's like a balancing act. It, gets it is too big. I start acting like I own the show. It gets too little, and I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, exactly. Just do what you want with the show, Chester. I don't mind. <sighs> <God>. <laughs> what does my life come to? I spend an hour or so every day, and, and it, it, it's just my head. It's hurting. But I can yeah. see great art, though. That's a good thing. Uh, because Metz is being white box right now. And he's got a cuter, kind of younger one going on here. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, she's very happy. Got her helmet off. He decided to go with a rather large breast. Everyone went with a large breast. Because I went and mentioned B cup in there. They're just being obstinate. Right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, well. B cups aren't good enough. They're just, they're just lesser. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, let's see. Star Story Taylor says, I'm looking for a pose inspiration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, actually, Whoa. you know what, what uh, I was let thinking? Let me just snap something for you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you know what I was thinking uh, would have been cool, which I had in my mind when we were talking about doing Hawkgirl, was that one where, you know, the image where she's kind of flying at you at a little bit of an angle. she got that smile on her face. The mace is uh, leaning forward with the wings in the back. Uh, that's what I had in my mind, but uh, nope, that's not what I'm getting. Uh, let's see. Zach Richmond is in here. He says, "Hi all. First time checking out the fan edition. Love the Hawk Girl choice. Yeah, Hawk Girl is cool. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, thank mm-hmm. you for joining us, Zach. We do appreciate it for sure. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of feedback on one of the speakers, so I'm not sure who this is. Let me try to figure it out. Uh, could you do me a favor, Mike, and uh, shut off your um, uh, shut your mic down for a second? Yeah, hold on a sec. Just to check." Yeah. Uh... All right. There you go. There it is. Yeah. 
I thought it was. No, no, I'm getting it somewhere else, too. Uh, Doug, can uh -oh. you shut yours off? Okie doke. Come on. So it's me coming back in the... Someone has the uh, has it on in the background. No, it's not you. Uh, Cassidy, can you do so? Sure. Hi, by the way, Cassidy. Hi. <laughs> can you shut yours He's off real knocking. quick? Yeah. One Just second. let me check. Let me see. No, it's not. Uh, Bullet, is it you? Uh, just hold on. All right. Just go to check it here. Because I'm getting myself echoed back in the mic, you know. I I'm think not... I sorted it. Yeah. We found yeah, the yeah. perpetrator. There it is. It is. There it was, Bullet. It was uh, all your fault. And you are now exiled from the island. Exile from the island, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, one yeah. of the things is, though, is uh, when you guys come on, uh, and uh, I know you want to watch from the YouTube side, but you have to shut the, you have to shut off the, uh, uh, the you have to mute it, uh, because as long as you're in here with your headphones or what have you on, you can hear what we're saying anyway, uh, and uh, that kind of feedback yeah. happens when you do that, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, in, that's interesting, because I don't have that on. I just have Hangouts. Oh, I don't think it was you. Someone else. No, now I'm getting it back again. It is you. Huh. Sometimes it maybe it's just echoing somehow. I don't know what's going on. Someone has it though. It could be Zach or it could be Booster. Someone's got. Uh, if he, yeah, if you, but if, but if you have the YouTube on, uh, uh, just mute it, please. Uh, you know, you not us, the YouTube, not the Hangouts. But um, uh, anyway, uh, it's just moving. It's not YouTube because there is a delay, and what we're hearing is immediate. It's You're just right. uh, yeah. them not having headphones on. You're right. It is a non a non headphone situation. And that's all right. It, it was deal with it. Uh, but uh, Todd, uh, very nice looking piece you got here. Could you back it up so we can see the whole piece real quick? Yeah. Now, see, Todd w ha is doing exactly what I had in mind. It's interesting, dude, that we're we're connecting on that level. There's a psychic connection, Todd. Is that when I was thinking Hawk Girl, that's exactly beautiful. what I was thinking about. It is beautiful, dude. Yeah. It should be good. It should be good. Uh, but uh, next week, though, uh, we are doing something really cool, guys. Uh, and uh, just wanted to uh, let you guys know uh, that uh, on the Fan Edition next week is our one-year anniversary, where it's going to be a lot of fun. And we are doing Big Trouble in Little China, dude. Uh, that is going to be a great show. Uh, so uh, definitely come back for that, and uh, I'll have to get Pixel to do a little bit of uh, advertising. Pixel's been a little bit incommunicado lately because you know Wow Classic came out, and uh, it has it has him by his uh, has him by his uh, uh, short and hairies, dude. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Anybody else playing Wow right now? No, I was warned away from it early on. <laughs> Why? Oh, just saying it's a life sucker, and I have a lot of things that I need to tend to to, you know, stay uh, stay on top of it. So no, I true. have nothing against WoW. I'm just no, it uh, again uh, they tell me like, oh, you're gonna those get a MMOs do that. That's true. It is mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Kronos uh, Chiron is in here and he says, uh, by the way, uh, for Batman's 80th anniversary, Warner Brothers and uh, Epic Store are giving out six video games, uh, three Lego ones and three Arkham Asylum games. That's cool. Awesome. Oh, Star Storyteller says my cool. husband is stuck in WoW. Yeah, well. <clears throat> oh, poor thing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I, hardly, <laughs> I hardly get any time at all to play video games these days. Now, no, Booster is a big time video gamer. What are you playing right now? Uh, I'm still stuck on Fire Emblem, bro. Still, wow, oh. it must be good. Yeah, Three houses, nice. I really like it. It's it's my kind of game. Yeah, dating sim. Mm -hmm. a no, dating sim, <laughs> yeah. I play it for the gameplay. That's right. The That's dating right, parts is only on the side. Is there a That's dating right. thing in that? Is that really a dating sim? Uh, uh, there's a relationship. Really. It's, it's actually got really you shallow uh, romance options, to be honest. But yeah, but, uh, but yeah, people get all the way into the. Want. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm going to talk to this one, and she's going to be my waifu. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, no, your own mm -hmm. thing. Now, Booster was explaining the waifu thing to me the uh, uh, the other day, and uh, I, I don't get it still. 
It was something about some kind of pillow with some kind of hentai art on it, and I was trying to explain to him. They call that a they call that a Dutch wife, and he said no, it's called something else. I don't know. Explain it to me again. I I don't want to. (laughs) It's just all done. (laughs) Some people like it. We get any uh, the waifu lovers here? Robot incoming. Yeah, go ahead, Mitz. Yeah, with Makara. Uh, I have a music video for that. Uh, it explains exactly what it is, and uh, by the end of it, you'll either be dead. That mm. did you actually get? Okay, it's always interesting for me to try to translate Mets because I miss about half of the words he says. Uh, but what I would think he's trying to say is he made some kind of video that explains what a waifu is. No, no, he, he, he says he has a video. No, that no, no I did not make it. I yeah. did not. Yeah. <laughs> he did not make it. Repeat, Chester. He did not make it. He did I not see, make the video. He did not make it from his basement. Making a if video I of did, him making be... out with his waifu pillow. He did not Is that do what this. they call those things, though? Uh, Dokumakras? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what they call what they... Say it again. The Japanese again, please. Uh, Dokumakras. I, I couldn't hear that. Do you know what the uh, Tito is trying to say? Dokumakras. Daku. I actually don't know if that helps. Mak- Kura. But. Dakimakura. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> I'm. I'm. Uh, <laughs> There's. Dak. Oh my. You know, it's uh, funny. Too good. Uh, no, I'm, I, 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 I found it. It's, it's a uh, uh, Daki Makura, right? Uh, and yeah. you know, you know what that means. You know what that means. You want you guys don't it's know. It's like what that you means. don't listen. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means in Japanese? What does it mean, Japanese? Big pillow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> He knows Japanese. Yeah, oh. That's funny. <laughs> that's all it means. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Zach I'm a little says, disappointed. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, uh, which yeah, Fire I mean, Emblem? Three House. Uh, yeah. That game is awesome. Yeah, Three Houses. Yeah, that's the uh, only one I've ever played. I, yeah. I know the other ones are really big with community and such, but I, I yeah, I'm a little. Into it. There's, you know, there's three different paths to it, and each one takes like 60 hours to clock on. I may be on my third playthrough. Oh, you might, you may be. That's interesting. Well, well you know, a lot of Japanese word, words, like yeah. any other language. As in I am, yes. This, I, well, I got that. Uh, but uh, Japanese, like any other language, uh, when, when you hear it, ooh, yeah. that might sound cool. Uh, but when you translate it, they're quite simple. A lot of things like that, right? Uh, like, for instance, uh, there's a valley between me and uh, the city uh, nearby. Uh, and uh, in that valley, it's called Kitachi. Kitachi. And it sounds kind of cool. Ooh, that's a nice name. But all it means is standing tree. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, like, uh, I live in... How do you ta- run the magic? I know, you have to kill the magic, right? Uh, but I live in Tazune, uh, which simply means noisy field with cranes. <laughs> right? So I, so I translate it more as crane song fields. Cool. Make it, make it better. Like yours. It's more poetic. More poetic. Somehow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a lot of Japanese like that. So you go get your so big now. pillow. So, uh, Booster, mm-hmm. explain to me exactly how do you use these giant pillows. Just kind of curious. Cuddle them. <laughs> if you yeah, cuddle but... them. <laughs> I knew that was coming next. Are you saying, like, you generally or Booster specifically? Uh, Booster There's specifically. I, I'm married. I have a woman. I don't need a fake woman, so I'm good to go. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be fair, I have slept with the Daki Makra. You have, and how was she? They are quite comfortable. I would yeah. never admit that. In- 
<laughs> I love how we robots <laughs> right at the punchline. It's awesome. Uh, now, uh, we do have Cassidy in here. I do appreciate you coming at the uh, last minute, dude. And uh, he's got a mace in a hand, so it's coming along. Right how you doing, Cassidy? I haven't talked to you I'm in a actually bit. not have time to do a really great piece. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, yeah. Uh, this um, is Cassidy. Where's, where's, where's yeah. Hi. So what you been awesome up to, work, dude? dude? Um, just busy doing comic work. Uh, I took a little nap earlier before the stream, and uh, I set an alarm for 6.30. Ended up getting up like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know how you sleep through alarms, do a lot of work. Yeah. That's how it goes. Well, actually, I never take naps during the day, dude. I I can't. Uh, uh, I always feel really horrible after uh, after I take a nap mm, in the day. It mm. makes my body. I don't know. I hate it. I I, I can't do it. Some people can. Booster you know, takes all kinds. I wouldn't nap. recommend. I hear you. If no, if I, I actually feel during the day, I get sick. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I thought like about that. that, but yeah, I take frequent naps uh, in order to stay as productive as possible. Yeah. No, I. So get it. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, when I was yeah, young and maybe I worked. It's a... Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, no, no. I was just, when I was young, I used to work on my family's fishing boats and stuff like that. And, uh, I, you know, you get mm -hmm. runs of, you know, a day, a solid day of work, right? I mean, literally. And uh, you, you get like a couple hours here or there, and you have to, you know, working on a boat, you have to take a, a sleep where you can get it, man. But those are so rough mm -hmm. because I felt so horrible every time I took those couple hour naps, you know? Okay, done. You know? Okay, done. Booster has announced his done this. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go over you. and click on it, guys. <laughs> uh, but do keep in mind, I apologize ahead of time. You I ready? do apologize. Here we go. This may be one of my worst. I'm not proud of this one. <laughs> You're not proud of it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not proud of this one at all. You're and a white box. You know I take pride of my, pride of my eye. Here we I are. I know you do. Oof. I will bash you, silly. This is an uh, Israel Hawk girl. <laughs> I didn't say that right. I'll bash you, silly. Was that better? <laughs> it's more like, I'll bash you, silly. You know, oh, he's calling you silly. Right. Yeah. Oh, Not that the act of bashing will be silly. I love how the hands are always so small. Is this another Ezra um, Elba? It is. Uh, yeah. No, it's an Ezra, uh, Ezra Miller. Ezra Elba is way too cool uh, okay. for Booster. Oh, you're um, right. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. should start drawing Ezra Elba. No, no, don't don't give him ideas. <laughs> uh, you know the yeah. problem is booster that you yeah. know what you know why your art has been uh, failing recently. I think is you've gotten away from stubble. Wait, where is it? Stubble and hairiness. This was your forte. You think so? You think I need to add hair? You do. I did. I wasn't very good at hair, wasn't I? You yeah. were right in the chest area. I'd say you All need right. some. Yeah, yeah, definitely need some yeah. hair. Yeah, I'll add some. Some stubble. It so has that level just, of uh, disgustingness. Yeah. It's it's just right. Yeah, you know? yeah. Absolutely. I should have added his legs so I could give him good hairy legs. That's huh? true. So, yeah, That's true. That. That's true. Yeah. Bit of uh, hairy bobs. Okay. Yeah, right there in the cleavage. That's good. You got that? That's nice. nice. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's beautiful. That's yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to just be doing this for a wee while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will go back over and look at the other art then. Uh, yeah. Bullet, you are being white box. I just yeah. threw up in my mouth. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't see the screen. That sounded awful. So. Let's see here. Chrono uh, uh, says, uh, plugged you in ERTs, a uh, little sum in Discord. Uh, I was in the last few days. He's talking to John Dillard. Uh, and, uh, yeah, cool. And, uh, of course, uh, I love Jimmy uh, Ortiz as well. Uh, Pablo says, add hair to mm -hmm. those bobs, Booster. He, he approves. He approves. Uh, John yeah. Dillard says. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, that big. That's, that's really big from Pablo. It is big. From he Pablo. is the master of bobs, after he all. He is. He is. Well, that's very true. Uh, mm -hmm. Dillard says, uh, Chester, I just got home. I will now endeavor to draw along and comp uh, complete something that is up to the high standards of the show. Well, thank you very much, John, which means we're going to get something absolutely depraved. Sweet. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, if you want to draw along like uh, John Dillard, uh, just do so. Go over to Twitter and put in hashtag DNQFE and just drop your art in there. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. And we'll check it out at the end of the show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, while you guys are voting on your straw poll, so awesome. Now, uh, Bullet, uh, the very interesting looking hawk girl here. It was a very classic looking hawk girl, actually. Yeah, it's 
the, the thing the thing about like I guess me as an artist is I'm super impressed with everybody who's able to get something finished looking in two hours. Oh yeah. Because like everything I do is kind of like yeah. I I kind of noodle a lot and I kind of iterate a lot. And then I take a bunch of time to like make sure the pose is right and do thumbnails and stuff like I like you know what I mean so like just kind of messing around here mm -hmm. I'm never going to be happy with something in 2 hours. Oh, I see. Yes. Like you know what I mean like like I'm never going to do that in 2 hours. Like that that She's girl like doing two minutes. Like you know what I mean like that's that's the thing like if I'm going to do something all that time for clean up and all that stuff and just like sure. getting really specific about line width and stuff you know well you know who's really good at getting stuff done in two hours is jiminy cricket he's amazing at it yeah 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 i talked to jiminy a lot about that yeah 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 uh, well, of course, yeah, you know, I am kind of joking, uh, but uh, Jiminy is a great artist, though, uh, and you always get a feel for what he's doing anyway, but uh, I get that, dude. I understand that, and there's all different kind of artists, and, uh, you know, that's one of the things I think I've noticed with the difference between Fan Edition and Pro Edition, because, you know, we get uh, some amazing art over here, absolute killer pro stuff, uh, a, a lot of the times just as good as you see on the Pro Edition. The real difference is uh, the pros can do that in the time allotted and chat the whole time right we're over here the artists are a lot more quiet because they're focusing uh, and i think that seems to be the big difference don't you think booster mm -hmm. i wasn't paying attention oh god <laughs> doing your job again uh but now i think that's how i yeah. feel that's what i feel is the biggest difference is uh the pros have the ability to do the same thing you guys do they just can do it uh like in the back of their head uh, while they're just chatting and joking and talking along the whole time, because uh, you know they do that really well, actually. Like uh, uh, I think Elliot yeah, Fernandez is a perfect example. There's weird aspects to it, like, like, just like I don't know, like I I find I work better uh, without any distractions. Like if I just sit down for two hours, I'll get a ton more work done than if I'm on something like this. Like mm. it's just like a whole different mindset, like. Yeah. Uh, store, sorry, like, sorry, yeah, getting, sorry. Getting a finished piece out. Oh, sorry. It's a bit of like a self-conscious thing. Maybe. No, I just, I just like to sit down and just grind something out, and I'll work on a piece for a long time, or I'll do a bunch of rough sketches before I decide on the piece I want to work on. Like I just, I, I just think about it more before I go to a finished piece. And so, like you know, I like to get up and and come back and look at something and go, ah, I don't like that, and then fix it. Like, you know, there's, right. a, I just, there needs to be more room to breathe, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. No, I get that. I think that applies to a lot of things. I know if I'm writing some kind of uh, uh, anthropological, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a, a something or another, if I'm writing some kind of academic thing, uh, I'll have it done with whatever time, hour, two, three hours, whatever. And I just, boom, it's done. But then it takes me another week of uh, messing with it and rewriting it and going over and over. It takes forever to get it done, even though the initial writing is done super quick, right? It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Yes, start... uh, I was going to ask, is your background in, in graphic design by chance? I mean, is that more... Is, that's um, where, yeah. that's where my, my, my education's in. I, I thumbnail the hell out of everything I go through. and I, Before I even put ink on paper, I mean, everything has to be in place pretty much. Yeah, like I definitely like like to set things up, do a lot of thumbnails, do a lot of layouts, do a lot of design, yeah. and then start, yeah. you know, being like, okay, I'm going to worry about perspective. I'm going to worry about, you know, all that kind of stuff before I go, okay, yeah. here's a piece. Like, um, And it, since I went digital, it's gotten even worse. I think I've gotten slower since I went digital. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, just, you could just be way more fussy about uh, it yeah. and stuff like that. There's too many... There's too many options. Like I find there's too many options. It's like uh, I can flip this, make this a little art, you know, and cut and paste it and see what this looks like. That's what ends up killing me when I do digital. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. 
Yeah, it absolutely despise digital. Experience. I am a much better traditional artist. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know how John Malin does this. Like, I absolutely fucking despise it. Oh, well, John Malin doesn't do it. <laughs> Have you ever seen his art? I mean, come on. Ouch. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, Star Storyteller says, I, I gotta I have a uh, <laughs> uh, The just comments kidding. of Just Busby are not representative of the channel of Fansby. It's my channel, you bastard. Uh, I could say anything negative I want. And uh, of course, you guys know I'm joking. I love uh, John Malin. Uh, John I will Malin's colonialize your ones. channel. It okay. is in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Star Soto says, I've got to head out and hang out with my husband. Well, thank you for coming in here. Chiron says, uh, don't feel bland. Uh, a lot of artists are that way. Uh, mm, perfectionist. I get it. Uh, Romero uh, uh, Pablo says, I think Matt Weldon and Gary uh, don't talk as much. Mm, interesting. Uh, and he says, and John Malin doesn't talk mm -hmm. when he really wants to win. That's true. Good point, Pablo. Uh, Junkyard Dunn says, uh, getting the reps in, it just comes naturally <laughs> after a while. Time you, time you... Sorry, go ahead yeah, and say that again. That's the thing. Like... Uh, I was just saying, like, last night, John was, you know, trying to talk, and every time he would say something, freaking Siege would just knock him down a notch. It was awesome. That is cool. <clears throat> Usually he's doing that. <sighs> Eduardo's Flash says, Malin mm -hmm. does art? <laughs> Love picking on John. <laughs> yeah, Chrissy can't. You know, I think the oh. thing with John Malin is probably a perfect example of what Bullet was just saying, because uh, if you look at uh, his professional work and stuff like that, he's he's a great artist. I mean, but in that short time frame, I think it's difficult for him, right, to get something at the, his level of polish that he can do. Uh, I think he's he's very much what you guys were just saying, but um, it, it, it is interesting to look at it. I mean, for me. With uh, music stuff, for instance, I never even think about it when I pick up my saxophone. There's no thought at all. Uh, but, you know, so I don't know. Do you have any skill at all, Booster? Is there anything you can do other than breathe? I, uh... Oh, I put up with you, What the hell was that accent? <laughs> <laughs> Some posh bread. <laughs> I made tomatoes on my weekends. I don't, uh... Oh. I don't appreciate this. Fight. I don't Lord. appreciate this attack on my character. <laughs> and I do weigh tomatoes, thank you very much. I'm the best at it. What? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, no, seriously, do you have it's any true. skills? It's true. Like Everyone says so. Mm -hmm. I uh, he's a singer, that. actually. Is that like an or something? I'm sure it is. Uh, but Booster, uh, do you have any musical skills or anything like that? Oh no, I don't do that at all. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, Hawk Girl has hair for be sure a great now. Singer. Oof. I know. Can you sing, Booster? Yeah. Sing us a mm -hmm. sing us a ditty. Fly me to oh, the moon. Oh, and let me play along the stars. Wow. Okay. I had a little hope for half a second. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Can you make Yorkshire tea? <laughs> uh, dude, I love that dude. He's awesome. I don't like tea. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Spiffy Brit is who he's a uh, YouTuber he's making a comment on here. I love Spiffy Brit, dude. He's awesome. Come on. Don't you have a pub song? I go to the pub. I don't like Booster. pubs. Beer, 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 beer. Uh, <laughs> in Return of the King in the pub. Oh, well, I was. Give us an uh, Elven what, Hobbit what was, song. How's... I I didn't watch how's the Hobbit. Seven drunk in Glasgow, Chester. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Hold on don't a second. Tell Robot is speaking. Everyone, be watch. quiet. Go uh, ahead. Mets, go ahead. No, I, I was asking you, how can knights go? How can knights go? Because uh, as I was going to seven drunken knights. It's a bar, Diddy? <laughs> have, you, have you never heard that song? Oh, yeah. I'll go find it. As I was... Ah, fuck. How, yeah, go, go find it. Because that's a good one. 
basically, as the story goes on, uh, this drunkard's wife is just cheating on him constantly. But she comes up with all these excuses as to why uh, he's wrong. Hilarious. Well, I don't know the uh, song, but let me see here. As I went home on Monday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a horse, a horse outside the door where my old horse should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell me, uh, tell to me who owns that horse outside the door where my old horse should be? Ah, you're drunk. You're drunk. You're, you feel, you silly old fool. Still, you cannot see. That's a lovely sow that me mother sent to me. Well... It's a many a day. I've traveled a hundred miles or more, but a saddle on a sow, sure, I never saw it before. I'm assuming that's the melody. Uh, and as I went home on Tuesday yeah. night, as drunk as drunk can be, I saw a coat behind the door where my old coat should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, will you kindly tell to me who owns the coat behind the door where my old coat should be? Ah, you're drunk. You're drunk, you silly old fool. I get it. Okay. Sounds funny. So oh, her 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 wife was, his wife is uh is stepping out on him is that what it is with seven knights yeah oh, yeah yes very very nice very nice all right well musical interlude time no, Julie, something thank you Stephen Hawkins is here <laughs> oh, of course poor, he is poor Mets from the grave no we talk about you and your roboting oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't stand robot. for those kind of jerks. Tank Fair says, Chester, stop killing that song. <laughs> hey, now, I read that quite well. Thank you very much. Stop that, Tank. That very bad. Fun. Mike is uh, putting some inks in there. I have What's no idea what I'm doing with this drawing anymore. Well, a lot of you guys got uh, finished pretty quickly, you actually. <laughs> Yeah, I had like I had half an hour. And I was like, okay. Really? Why did you restart? That thing you were doing looked awesome, dude. No, no, not restart. Restart my computer because whenever I my inking tools don't work right. Go back. Oh no. You didn't did your lose your. Shut down on you me? didn't lose your work, did you? No, no, I don't lose my work. No, I can tell when it's about to happen. Maybe it's a random. Like issue. a seizure. I'm sorry, what was that? They're wet, bro. Yeah. Stop talking about wet things. Booster is here. Is it kind of like a seizure? You get like this aura? Moist. Playing out. Mm. Moist. Moist. Oh, Moist. God. Moist, yeah. <gasps> Moist. Moist, do keep in mind, guys, uh, we appreciate everybody being in here uh, in the chat and uh, looking at our Hawk Girl art today. Uh, at the end of the show, of course, we pull, we'll put the straw poll up so you guys can see everything, and I'll make sure I go through and show you show you each piece of art so you guys uh, can make your decisions. But while they uh, you are voting, we are going to be looking at the draw along. And uh, we do hope that many of you are drawing along. Uh, and uh, just go to Twitter and put in hashtag DNQFE, and uh, we'll have fun looking at that. There's always a lot of fun in the show, so uh, thank you. And that'll be happening in about 30 minutes. So we have 30 minutes left, guys. Uh, so, okay. uh, aye, aye, aye. let me start a conversation then, since we're getting toward aye, the end of the show. Uh, Mike, oh, yeah. the, the question I have for you guys is there's a new Rambo movie out. Has anybody seen it? Mm. Mm. No, okay. have you? No. No. Uh, are you guys... I heard movies already. are expensive in Japan. Oh, yeah, they're about 20 bucks, yeah. Uh, but um, uh, uh, does anyone uh, looking forward to the new Rambo? 20? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, can, yes. I will definitely watch it. Someday. Yeah, it's a, that's a lot to live up to, though, man. <laughs> that last Rambo was badass, dude. We're really good now. flick. Well, you know, I really think that uh, Stallone is doing a great job in wrapping up his career. He's, I really think he is. He's done a wonderful job with the last so many movies. Creed was great. Uh, the last Rambo was great. Uh, I'm really appreciating what he's done uh, doing, yeah. actually. 
Now, if now maybe we get a, a part two to uh, uh, what was it? Throw Mama from the train. What was that movie he did? That really horrible uh, uh, Italian mafia movie. What was that called? Damn it! I don't. Oh, that's, that's it. He was snapped. Stop or my mom will shoot. Stop or my mom will shoot. Mom. Yeah, there you go. I knew a mom was in yeah. there somewhere. That yeah. was a bad movie. That was a very bad movie. Um, I also that's didn't a, like Copland. It's actually one of the few films that I've actually stood up and walked out of the theater on. Copland. Mm -hmm. We need it. Oh, we need yeah. a demolition. Man. You know what film I saw that with that I'd seen recently where people walked out of the theater? Which? Uh, Midsummer. Midsummer. Not really? Thing. Basically the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. First, people it's were a... really offended. Well, I don't. I haven't seen it, but uh, it's nothing new. How? Uh, were they offended? What were they offended by? Uh, yeah. I think Life. it might have been the. No, I think it might have been like the weird, creepy sex cult ritual. Yeah. Yeah. No and it's funny because my my mother, my mother-in-law took me they to see know. it, so I was like, interesting. Good. And she was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to i didn't know it was that kind of movie i was oh, like well. yeah you know back in the 80s i remember this sex cult and um uh no don't no, tell yeah, your daughter don't tell don't tell that story don't tell that what story. <laughs> cobra 2 pablo oh, okay. dude that would be so cool cobra is one of my favorite stallone movies that movie kills it and uh someone actually uh, mm -hmm. uh, here mentioned mm -hmm. demolition man too that was a great flick as well mm -hmm. yeah it's really mm -hmm. good yeah, they mm -hmm. gotta get yeah. sniped for that too yeah they can right they're both around Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the problem is, is Wesley's character is very dead. I mean, super dead. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or so you think. <laughs> oh, so you think. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Isn't moving that how down. It goes, uh, uh, now, normally I would white box Todd, but he's not showing anything right now, so I'll go ahead and uh, uh, move over to. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, my thing's back up. My thing is back up. All right. I'll be right there. Oscar was Stallone's mafia comedy so bad? Yeah, it was El Rodimus. It was a pretty bad flick, dude. Uh, you know, uh, I like Sly. I mean, he's uh, he's a cool actor, but not everything he does is great, man. Uh, but that's that you could be said about everything. The only person I know whose every movie is really, really, really good is Kurt Russell. And even if the movie around him sucks, Kurt Russell's awesome. And he's like the only one I can think of that's like that. You guys know any artist who's like that? So, I was meant to have seen this the other day. Uh, uh, no? Oh, Jeff Bridges? Jeff Bridges? Nah, not even. No, no, definitely no. not. Although he is in some good no. stuff, though. Yeah, uh, but, not I'll even. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. he's usually pretty entertaining. I mean, the movie can, as long as he, you know. You know, I like Jeff Bridges, I, I, for sure. Uh, but I just don't think there's many actors that you can't pick a uh, portrayal that they've done that wasn't good. Even if the movie sucked, they were good. I mean, you can't. Uh, I can't think of offhand. Even Brad Pitt, you know, which he's fairly entertaining fella. Uh, not everything he's done has been a, been a hit, you know. Uh, Tom Cruise certainly doesn't fit that bill, mm -hmm. and he's always Tom Cruise. Yeah. 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 I actually I'm trying to be tall. It's, yeah. I actually don't short. really like Leonardo DiCaprio. Can I just admit that on stream right now? I don't mm -hmm. care much That's for fine. Leonardo either. I'm not yeah. a Leo fan. No, neither am I. Yeah. Uh, Mortal V I'm would like to know um, guy. Uh, Well, hold on a second. Uh, um uh, Mortal V would like to know which Doug is this, Dougie. Uh Doug Curtis. I worked on Movie Men. Okay. Doug Moving Curtis, comic, yeah. Mortal V. Well, no, Mortal is preparing uh, for the end of the show where he uh, will have everyone's uh, links and stuff available for you. Uh, he just wants to know. Uh, Bruce Campbell. Oh, okay. Pablo's right. Bruce Campbell. You're right. Ooh. I love Bruce. Ooh, good thinking. Yeah, good thinking, dude. Bruce is That's awesome. Right. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. Someone else was trying to say something when I was asking the question. Uh, go ahead and continue. Someone was trying to say something? No? No, I don't think so. Right. Well, oh, there you go, Cassidy. That's what I wanted right there. The Disney version of Hawkgirl. Perfect. Thank you, Cassidy. Uh -huh. 
And uh, more. I mean, says, I gave up on what I was doing. So. No, this is perfect, what? dude. <laughs> yeah, I like. I, no I, I actually like the Disney version of Hawk Girl. I think it's a, it's a nice for her character. I do too. Actually, it's funny because that was my first exposure to Hawk Girl. So I'm thinking, like, where is that Hawk Girl? Well, nobody's it, drawn that Hawk Girl? Because it doesn't oh really gosh. match the story, unfortunately, because uh, the whole thing is about the, the, the star crossed lovers and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, between her and Hawkman. So it, it doesn't really work mm -hmm. to have her as a kind of cute kid, a teenager. Yeah, uh, it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, it's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, I'm kind okay. of curious with Hawk well, Girl, because uh, I don't know her very well. I mean, I've certainly seen her in comics. I saw the Justice League run of her. But um, is this whole, uh, you know, the uh, uh, lovers through time thing that's done with her and Hawkman, is this something that's been around forever, or is this some kind of new reboot or new recreation? No, that's always sort of been their trope. Is Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. Reincarnation is part of that. Nope. Then why is she fucking uh, John Stewart? Huh? John Stewart? Oh, you talk about well, you go Green, Green then Lantern? Come, uh, in just... Yeah, because John's the man. That's why. Okay, well, the first of all, should go block him. All <laughs> yeah. right. First of all, you guys do notice that in all <laughs> yeah. your movies, try to find a white person who is dating or married to a white person. It's very difficult. They always want to make sure the white person is with a person of color. They've been doing this for quite a while, dude. Oh yeah. And it I'm, is frustrating. I'm I'm marrying I'm marrying a Mexican girl. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I married um, a Japanese. There's nothing wrong with well, it. I'm just saying that it's become oh, no, it's become a go, tactic. It's, it's, it's social engineering, and you guys fell for it. What? What? No, I just fell in love. That's all I fell for. Yeah. Well, that's Drops not Hollywood. My hood. What makes you think? Oh, that's okay. okay. Well, I have yellow oh, fever so and he has taco fever, so it's all good. <laughs> I do love taco <laughs> tricks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're all terrible. Yeah. yeah I know. Miss but, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but see, there's no problem. It's not a, that's not the problem. It's that it's an agenda is the mm -hmm. problem, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just it's, like yeah, uh, you know? having uh, Harley Quinn in a lesbian relationship with Poison Ivy. I mean, it's the same oh, I nonsense. They were just friends. Yeah, uh huh. That's weird. When did yeah, that happen? Yeah, thank you, uh, Chiron. Yeah. Yeah, when did just when randomly did they start... one of our comics that just happened, and, and now they're just trying to push on everything now. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I thought. No. I mm. thought they were Which just is friends. a really weird pairing. It now, is. Now they're really good friends. Yeah. Well, the mm. thing is, -na -na. Harley Quinn is a crap character. She's absolute crap. Oh, hot take. Right? Uh, she I don't is... think she was at first, but uh, no. She... It's, mm. No, it's nonsense. I disavow completely. She's Joker's girlfriend. That's it. She's nothing else. She's a stupid psychiatrist. What in the hell are they have in there kicking people's butts? She actually beats people in combat. How is this? How is this? She should have yeah. just been a one-shot, like, uh, kind of nameless minion, you know? Well, no, not, no, not totally I, nameless, but you know I what I mean? Just I'm just side imagining thing. her with yellow skin and one eye. She was. She was, yeah. She just Joker's girlfriend. And it was a nice I don't know why issue. they pumped her up so hard, but uh, because she's, she's popular. Because she's sexy. Because she's drawn sexy. Of all the wrong like people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now she's completely abandoned Joker, and she's in, on her uh, lesbian tirade. Uh, but it's like, do you really think you can sustain mm -hmm. this character on her own? Uh, we'll see. Maybe. Joshua says, What? <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I, I don't... For me, uh, uh, Harley Quinn is a useless character. Absolutely. What's the mm -hmm. point? Who? Where is she got her ability to fight from? Where is her... What's her ideas? What are her tactics? What is it she's going to do? She's nothing no. but the girl who says, Puddin', that's it. <laughs> Puddin'. Mm. Mm. Uh, Mortal she's a girlfriend. Yeah, she's a girlfriend. Uh, Mortal V says, just like, yeah. just like uh, Booster's Chester's mistress, he, he, he runs away. <laughs> well, I don't care for that. <laughs> I'm not a one-shot character. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Yowza Comics says, I'm deleting my channel uh -huh. due to Comicsgate trash. 
I'm not supporting EVS uh, uh, War Game Comic Gate. Uh, this channel What's is about? cool. Keep up the great work, everyone. Uh, cool, dude. Whatever. You know we don't get into that nonsense over here. Uh, you know, uh, we just want to support comic books. We're just as happy to support uh, um, uh, mm -hmm. anybody here who's doing art as we are to support Ethan's stuff. I mean, you know, of course. Uh, but uh, I get you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pablo says uh, she should have just stayed on the animated series universe. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, your opinion is so wrong. I have triggered Joshua. Uh oh. Yeah, no, uh, Chiron. I'm sure he'll live. Uh, he will. Uh, Chiron says uh, she's the villain, sexy little bimbo. It's a stereotype. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, here's the thing. Stereotypes are absolutely wonderful. I would say even essential to storytelling. Uh, Hollywood does it all the time, right? They have all these little tropes that they have so they can tell the story very quickly because you get it in your head, ah, oh, that's what that means, mm -hmm. right? It's a very standard tool. Uh, the funny thing for me is how many of the Hollywood tropes have actually, right. that you have people in the world who believe them. That's the funny mm -hmm. thing to me, right? Right. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. oh, like men never ask for directions. There's a good one, right? Or like um, uh, the people meet in a movie and are having sex within a scene, as if that happens. It's very rare, actually, you know, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's just like that trope, that, and it comes from the movies, where men are out having all this sex, and these women these days are like, we're going to be like men and have lots of sex, too. Well, no, there's a few men, a very small percentage of men are out there banging everything. The rest of us uh, are, are not necessarily doing that at all. Uh, and actually, with these uh, women becoming so slutty these days, they're way more uh, uh, interactive in their amorous activities than any men have been throughout history, actually. But there it is. Hollywood. Thanks, Hollywood. Good job. Did I get off topic? I went off topic. Yeah, you're slut shaming now. Bit. I am. Yeah, just yeah, yeah just this is really bit. problematic, Chester. Yeah, whatever. Can't shame me. Oh, I see. So then, if I say the Me Too thing is complaining about a bunch of letter lectures, and it's basically a bunch of whores who are complaining about that, is that off topic too? Is that is that slut shaming as well? I'm just curious. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh my god. Well, dude, how do you come right. on and say right. he, we went there? Hey, we did go there. Well, how do you come up to me and you say he he said if I had sex with him, I get the part, and then I'm like, okay, did you get the part? Yeah. How much money did you get paid for that? Uh huh. Did you win an Oscar on that? No, you were nominated. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry for you. I mean, honestly, and I just lost yeah. someone. I, I absolutely pissed, triggered someone off, and they left. The uh, one of the artists Aww. left. Oh well, it is. Oh, <laughs> you, Bob. I'm sorry. But um, it's it's true, right? Bob's shaming our slutty artists. <laughs> and he's back. He's yeah. back. Okay. He thought second of it. Nice. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Jennifer says, interesting focal point. <laughs> uh, McCrank says, Chester, don't drop nukes like that. You're in Japan right now. That's right. <laughs> and I'm safe. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh Hiroshima. Oh. Nagasaki. <laughs> Oh, a little error. Yeah. You know, it's interesting you say Hiroshima because that's actually a correct pronunciation. But I hear a lot of people in the in the West say Hiroshima. Uh, so those good people on you. are wrong. Yeah, they are wrong. Yeah. And Mortal V says, stop shaming Booster. <laughs> Come on, Mortal. <laughs> Booster would love it if he was a slut. He'd be the happiest boy ever. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For sure. I mean, who wouldn't? But alas... No one will touch my wee-wee. Oh, no. Too bad. <laughs> SJW Joshua was in here and says, Chester, you sexist. Pixels will fire you. Okay. Chester is canceled. Hashtag cancel Chester. All right. I think that would be fun. <laughs> I enjoy it. My wife would get a kick out of it. That's for sure. Because she, she said, what are you doing this stupid YouTube thing for? I was like, because it's fun. It's stupid. Thank you. I love you. It's wonderful. Oh. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's just cruelty. She should nah, be supportive just, uh, of your joking. stupid hobbies. <laughs> she doesn't say that at all. Uh, she's very supportive, actually. Uh, but uh, we are oh, getting close to time, guys. We've got right. about 17 minutes left, so thank you very much. Hashtag kick, Jester. Oh, you stick on that, Joshua. Uh, I want to see a week solid of you on that. I think it'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You guys know I got a copyright strike yesterday. 
You know what why? Know? You know why? You want to know why? Um, well, because I was, uh, we were talking about um, uh, old stories and how they screw them up. And we started talking about Buck Rogers. Oh, Buck Rogers. So I went over oh, and I found. You get hit with Buck Rogers. Awesome. I did, dude. <laughs> I found a Buck Rogers. Now, here's the thing. I found the theme song on YouTube. I played the theme song, and I got a strike from NBC for playing Buck Rogers' theme song. This is a 40-year-old right. show, 40 years old, right? And I took this theme from YouTube. Now, how come mm -hmm. I'm getting a copyright strike? That's not getting a copyright strike. What the hell's going on? Right? Um, I think it has to do with them just protecting their intellectual property. Buck Rogers? Like yeah, yeah. How dare you? Know. Uh, yeah, Sorry. don't let your white privilege blind you, Chess. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, how come the other channel wasn't getting a strike? How about that? Now, um, I don't know, actually. I think it's because it's, it's mon they probably monetized it. But see, it I'm was... not monetized. Yeah. So they're like, we're mad because you're not paying us money to use the song. Uh, so. Fine. Whatever. Uh, Diller mm -hmm. says, Chester, I have failed you. I cannot finish this drawing al uh, along. Uh, I'm going to have to just submit what I have done and cry myself to sleep. I am sorry, senpai. It's all right, John. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to see everyone drawing along. Uh, definitely throw that in hashtag DNQFE, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Mortal V says, John is now a law as lost as uh, he is in his Twitter photos where he cannot figure out where his uh, where he's at. Okay. <laughs> He's all, <laughs> that's funny. He can't figure out where is it. We're talking says, about. I, I, yeah. saw re, I saw Gil Gerard at uh, uh, Retcon in Philly last weekend. He got fat. Oh, well, dude, he's like, what, 80? Yeah, I mean, everybody come on. gets fat. Let, let him be fat. Let yeah. him be fat at 80. Oh, is there that's any, Is Go there ahead. any Buck Roger movies in. in production or thing wasn't there something like a while ago with some uh i CGI? think they're bringing it back dune okay yeah oh i, I can't that. wait yeah no that uh, we we covered that quite a bit on the show but i haven't heard anything about buck rogers uh joe does say however that buck rogers is on me tv now it's a uh uh ren renesis no uh it was a horrible show oh my god you didn't like buck rogers come on it was awesome it was perfect 80 schlock dude did you, did you just say perfect 80 schlock? Yeah. Yes, I did. Genesis does. He's not wrong. And don't. No, he's not. But I just I want to be able to quote him later. Oh, okay. oh, oh fine. <laughs> All right. No, Buck Rogers was for us kids who couldn't watch Battlestar Galactica. And we couldn't get the channel. That's what oh. we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about Battlestar Galactica, mm -hmm. and it turned into the older stuff because I protest that the original Battlestar Galactica was far superior to this remake crap that they came out with. I, I mm. love the original. Yeah, it's much better, dude. Nonsense. Human Cylons. What the hell's wrong with these people, man? Just because they wanted to have a, cup, a big set of tits walking around. That's the only reason they did it. Yeah, they did. I mean, they were nice tits, reason. though. I do apologize. I do appreciate her. She's appreciated, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh man, who Did was I miss that? Something? So I can research it. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, that big old blonde, that blonde Cylon. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know who she is, but she's an attractive lady for sure. Are you just talking about Deep Space Nine? No, God, no! Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about Space nineteen ninety nine, if you'd like. That was a good show too. And Bible Babylon Five was awesome, actually. And I know okay. I'm not talking about Deep, uh, Deep Space Nine. That was a good one as well, too. That's actually a very interesting Star Trek uh, show. The one where they don't move. Yeah, but it was but it was a cool show, though. It was well done, dude. It, 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 I have a hard time with it just because, you know, exploration's like kind of the thing that I really yeah. enjoyed about Star Trek. So them not going anywhere felt very much like it was just like a... Like... It, um, Slap in the uh, face. Cheer. No, not, uh, what was it called? Not Cheers. Is it Cheers? Cheers. Well, yeah, where they just go to the bar every day. Where they just go to the bar every day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in a way. That's what it felt like. I, I get you. I get that. I get that. <laughs> the acting was pretty star solid, though, and the storytelling writing was pretty good. You know, 
but I get that point. Um, uh, Joe says, it's just weird because I see him on uh, me TV every Saturday on Buck Rogers reruns. So it was, a, it was just a weird juxtaposition. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, actually, you know, the other person who got a bit chubby but has lost a lot of weight recently is Nathan Fillion. He's looking good, actually. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, no, that's what we were talking about, Chiron. Uh, they're doing a reboot of Battlestar Galactica. That's what we were talking about on the show. And it's like, well, they just finished the uh, the reboot again. So you have a rebooting a reboot? What the hell? Oh. Made too much money. <laughs> Are they going back to the roots with that new reboot? or? No. I did like that chrome and blood, though. Did you guys see that blood and chrome? Is that what it was called? That little two-parter? That was pretty cool. I'd watch that. Afraid I missed it. Okay, I gotta go. (sighs) You gotta go? We still got uh, ten minutes. Yeah, but I I started late, and I said ahead of time I had to go somewhere at night. Well, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Oh, that's pretty, though. That is pretty, pretty good. Mm-hmm. We be able to um, send a chest to me. Do you want to be? I'm still got you on the pole. Do you want to be in the straw pole? Take out the pole. No, I have. I came in late and I didn't get a lot done. It's just for the stream, so. Sure, oh, it's cute though. It's That's nice. That's still really good, dude. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. it. Thanks. Sweet. Well, thank you very much for coming in, Cassidy. We do appreciate it, dude. And uh, that is a very cute and wonderful little hawk girl. You should definitely remember to uh, put that on fan speak, please, so everybody can see. Okay. I'll do. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, do you want to just leave it up while I head out? If you like, you can, sure. Okay. I'll do that. All right, dude. Rock on. Thanks, man. All right, I'm Cassidy. Bye. Have a good one. Later. He's uh, a good guy. I like that guy. Uh, he's very energetic. I like Cassidy. Uh, Chiron says Space 1999 uh, season one was cool, but second uh, was awful crap. Uh, 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 a little bit. Uh, although the introduction of Mira was uh, Myra. Was it Myra or Mira? Can't remember. I think it was Myra. Sure. Uh, the introduction of Myra was a very nice addition, I think. Uh, and, and she's stuck in my head all these years, for sure. It is like the animated TV thing he just did. Yeah, it does look like that. It's nice. I like it. Uh, now, Chiron says that uh, human Cylons were always meant to be in the show in 1980. And how Anderson admitted it, uh, if not for uh, a break, they'd be, they'd been in it eventually. Well, uh, okay, I guess if if it was something that was going to evolve into it, uh, but that's not what they did on the reboot. The reboot, they were there from the beginning. They were the inception of the rebellion, and uh, that wasn't cool. I wanted to see Cylons, and we hardly got any Cylons. And you know why they did it in the reboot? You know why I think they did it? Was because they didn't want to spend money on having to put Cylons walking around because they had to CG it instead of just putting people in costumes like they did in the original show. And the Cylons in the original show were very cool. It was a great design, so why not do it again? I don't know. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, reasons. Reasons, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. Todd is coming right along, putting some shadow on those fingers. Very nice. I think you got to finish. You got eight minutes, uh, seven minutes left. You think you can get to it, Todd? Seven? How many? Seven minutes. Eight seven whole minutes. Prison, prison. <laughs> I see half of her is not finished, so I guess the answer would be no. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it in, in here that said uh, that said um, uh, Todd was the Eeyore of the internet? Who said that? Oh, that was me. That was, that was a little bullish. Bit. He, is, he is being a bully. <laughs> that's a little funny, though. I mean, come on, Todd. That's a little funny. I love giving Todd shit. I love giving Todd shit. He loves it. <laughs> I don't know if he loves it, but I think it's funny. <laughs> wow. You got a good sense of humor, Zach's don't you, piece. Todd? Hmm? What's that? I said, you got a good sense of humor, yeah? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even when I'm mad, I'm just pretending I'm mad. I'm not really mad. True. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that's so funny, though, but it does work. Uh, 
<laughs> Clever quip. Ah, damn. Yeah. Well, I'm That's glad some good we did. Shit, uh, Zach. Hmm? Oh, thank you. It is beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. And of course, guys, keep in mind, we are going to show all the art at the end of the show so you guys can see it and vote on it. Uh, also, keep in mind, we hope you're joining along and just put a, put that on hashtag DNQFE and uh, we'll we'll take a look at that when we're in the straw polls. Uh, but it's really nice what you got going on, Todd. Uh, it's too bad I don't think you could get that uh, right arm done. Uh, but can it looks extend, great. Like, extend the show by like 10 minutes? No, no, no. You have six minutes, sir. You can do it, Todd. I believe in you. Yes. Everyone believes in you. Believe. Believe faster and harder. Who's Todd? That's what you said. <laughs> this is Todd, right here. Oh. Okay. Uh, SJW Joshua has an observation. Would you guys like to hear it? Oh. It's, it's a pretty good one. I love it's, it. it's all yes. in capitals as well, so he's yelling it. Uh, so every time Chester uh, ever sees a picture of a woman, he has to comment on her breasts and attractiveness, which happens on every stream on this channel. Hashtag fire Chester. Okay. Yep. yep you're fire. right. Guilty. <laughs> Hands up. Fire. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> I like the women's. And it's funny that they keep telling me I hate women. And it's like, uh, nope. Nope. I like the women. I nope. like them a lot. Mm -hmm. We love how how dare like you accuse us of being sexist? We love the inferior over sex. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I love women. I love women in all shapes and sizes and all their ways, not just their breasts. Uh, I like uh, older women for their wisdom and their their sense of humors, and uh, uh, I love children in general and even the female ones. Uh, so, uh, yep, yep. But they keep telling me I hate women, so I got to remember. I got to write that down. Write that down, booster. We hate uh, women. Uh, uh, running. You're, you're not doing it right. Yeah, yeah you're not doing it right. Yeah. Uh, Dillard says, okay, Chester, I posted it under the hashtag uh, DNQFE. Uh, it's not the best thing ever, but I am com uh, I am comforted that it will be at least better than bullets by miles and miles. <laughs> There's some love oh, for you, Bullet, go. from Dillard there. Good love. Oh, no, I, I, I appreciate uh, uh, Dillard's shit. It's all good. It's true. It's true. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you like his shit. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's not what I mean. Taste. I like little burritos of it. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. Stop oh, it. Stop it. I just oh, no. no. Uh, and I'm kind of wondering, uh, Doug, uh, you've been finished for an hour or so. Uh, so i uh, kind of curious what you've been do doing the whole time. You took a nap. Nope. Listening. Listening. Yeah. Just know, listening. Kind of sketching listening. other stuff in, in a sketchbook here. Yeah. Well, you thinking do... about making a run for the border. Uh, possibly, <laughs> yeah. Especially with those. Uh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not contributing to that. I'm not. But you know, now Doug would uh, just to give you a little bit of help. You know, help you with you know experience. Uh, when you have free time, which which you do, what you need to do mm -hmm. is find out, uh, find some way to belittle Booster as much as possible. That's kind of your responsibility, oh. and you're kind of <sighs> dropping the, the ball. The drawing wasn't enough. The drawing wasn't enough. No, no, I need more. I need more. Oh, I need Constant more. <laughs> stream of belittlement. Thank you very much. Gotcha. I'll keep that in mind. Sweet. Rock on. I'll, I'll practice that. I'll practice, practice that. We got two minutes. Uh, Bullet. Not at all. I like Bullet's piece, John. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, although it I is... too think it's cool. I don't understand what she's holding. Uh, she's holding a large rectangular mm, cleaver. Is that something she's used before? I guess it I is have now. No idea. I just, I just had an idea for this big blunt blade that she That's could block wicked. things with, and yeah, yeah. also smash things really hard with. There you go. That's pretty wicked. Fair yeah. smash. You know, I see what you're saying, though, Bullet, because uh, little by little, as you adjust and fix lines and add shadows and do little things here and there, uh, the piece becomes tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. So I get I get what you're saying earlier, actually. So, yeah, like uh, that's the thing. Like I would the the line weight would be tiny, super thin. Like everything would be like, you know what I mean? Like it would just. That's the thing. Like I I would have messed with this. I would have adjusted her hips a bit more, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? Like it would get there, but it just it won't be there, you know, right now. 
No, I, I get it. I get it. And uh, we see other artists that come in and they just <clears throat> throw a line on a page and they'll never touch it again. Uh, it's just different yeah. ways to get at the same thing. You know, I guess, like they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, like I... I there, there's a part of me that would like to be faster, mm -hmm. but I'm always fine with my end product so i don't care how long it takes i've gotten to i've gotten out of that concern like uh john is continuing his tirade against you uh he says oh, you great. like bullets peace <laughs> i know that people have different tastes but at this point you're just losing credibility Oof. yeah Oof. thanks john that's <laughs> thank you john uh yeah i do like it actually i think it's cool and we love you too, John. Always, especially when there's uh, you, your feet. John does very good feet. He's a good feet. He's a good. Feet. He's a foot man. Yeah, he does. He does. He yeah, I know. He, he, I know. I'm seeing more of it here. <laughs> it makes me confused, Chester. I didn't know I had finish. I'm just impressed. He works so well with such tiny hands. Oh, oh, oh! See, that's a oh that's a direct God. insult. Goodness gracious. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a little T-Rex, like, and he has a 500 milliliter of Coke and oh. looks like a two liter in his hands. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I have a big head and tiny hands. Oh, no. Are you going to take that, John? Are you going to take that? All right, guys, we're coming to enter our time. You guys ready? I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. It's being called. Yep. Uh oh. Three. He's calling, He's calling it. I two. Guess. Oh. One. Whoa. Pencils down. Everyone stop. We're done. We're done. We're done. Uh, and uh, that was fun. Um, uh, we do apologize for the show not being what it was supposed to be, but I think it turned out great. And I love Hawk Girl, and thank you guys for all coming in and helping us out do that. And all, of course, you guys viewing as well. Uh, now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through here and show, show each piece, uh, piece of art so you can see it very clearly. And then uh, after that's done, uh, Booster's going to drop the straw poll into the chat so you can vote. And then once that is done, we're going to look at the draw along. Yeah. So if you have not put your art up yet, uh, please do so. It's at hashtag DNQFE. And Booster, that is disturbing. You're Ezra Miller with Bobs and Harry Bobs. Yeah. Is, it's not yeah, right. It's, it's not right. Yeah, dude. yeah, it's, like it. it's wrong. I should probably... Oh, thank you. I don't, but thank you. He needs that oh, yeah, This is one of the worst things I've drawn. And I've drawn some bad things. I see, I see. He needs that Daryl Hannah Blade Runner um, black strip across his eyes. Oh, mm, that is sexy. Mm, that mm, is pretty good. Mm, that would be sexy. Uh, Booster uh, discovered yeah. his foot fetish and necro fetish during one of the, his Resident Evil 6 playthroughs. Did he know? Did he know? Mm -hmm. Over at Medicans channel. He did, yeah. Uh, Dillard says, you hear that in <laughs> Bullet's voice? Bonafide butthurt <laughs> hashtag got him. <laughs> got him. And model uh, three puts up a burn. <laughs> oh, you it. people. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this art here. Uh, we're going to start out here on my right, and we have Zachary. Now, Zach, man, you put up some really good art over uh, over the past month or so, and um, and damn, quick. dude. Mm -hmm. damn, and he did dude. that quick. It's not he fair. He did. I, I, the problem is, every time he does something, I, I think it's my favorite thing he's done. Um, this is absolutely <laughs> stunning, Zach. I'm getting better every time. Oh, it's, it's, it really is yeah, drawing with insane. everybody and seeing the dynamic <laughs> stuff that they're doing and yeah. kind of looking at their stuff and working, um, especially like drawing with the pros and stuff like that. Yeah, see, um, that that's not the right answer, a... Zach. That's not right. Yeah, you're being but... you're being humble, and you're you're being accepting. Everybody, you say, yeah, that's right, it's badass bitches. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm... Yeah, no, his lighting and stuff is incredible. It's really good, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The liquid right. movement on the rain coming off the uh, morning star, uh, lightning in the back. Yeah, it's a, it's is beautiful rain? piece, dude. <laughs> is that rain? Yeah. <laughs> or is it blood? What have you? Uh, but mm. uh, it oh. is beautiful, dude. Really Looks good like job. Looks like pudding. It's Maybe pudding. it's pudding. We were talking about Harley Quinn. Oh, no. Uh, all right. Uh, great piece, though, guys. If you want to vote for Zach in the straw poll, please do. Great piece. Uh, coming over here to Mike Dalton. How you doing, Mike? Uh, and uh, very nice. Uh, we didn't get that wing done, though. We didn't get to that second wing, though. No, no. Or the uh, the mace or whatever. It looks like he's got a giant lollipop there, but that's okay. Hey, lollipops that's are good. Enough. They have their I purposes. Like 
<laughs> Very yeah, nice. I like it. Yeah. I'll, I'll finish it up. Uh, please do. Uh, make sure you uh, drop it into the fan speak uh, so people can check it out. But uh, do keep in mind all the artists here. Okay. Uh, when we are done or when you finish the piece offline, uh, make sure you go into our Discord and go into the after show and putting in the Dropbox because uh, Pixel keeps an archive of the show. Uh, so make sure all the artists put that in there. And whoever wins, of course, oh. needs to send me uh, one on my Twitter uh, so I can get it to Edwin. Uh, but uh, thank you very much, Mike. And if you guys like what Mike has done, please vote for him in the straw poll. Now we have Metz with us. Now Metz got his shading going on, and he's got a happy little uh, little smiley hawk girl. Uh, how do you feel about your piece today, Metz? Honestly, I got to the wings, and I thought to myself, hmm, fuck it. Vote for Mets. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Vote Mets, yeah. baby. Uh, vote Mets. I, I'd vote for you if you're going for president. That's uh, that should be your campaign slogan. Mm. Now this yeah, is interesting. Uh, Mets 2020. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, there you go. There it is. There, there's his campaign promises. Uh, John Diller says Zach's stuff looks crazy awesome. However, when he colors it, it looks like he swipes it through a Technicolor butt crack. Sad. <laughs> what? I think that's Jesus not as much Christ. of a color. That's, uh, Is that that's like Joseph and the Technicolor butt crack? Yeah. Maybe, uh, man. Joseph and the Technicolor <laughs> butt crack. That's funny. The <laughs> robot at the perfect <laughs> moment, dude. It's perfect. I'm sold. I'm voting for Mets. There you go. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, no, uh, I think Zax is nice. And of course, one thing we do know is that coloring can make or break it. We know that's true. Uh, but of course, yeah, John's I'm wondering what, what, anyway. what coloring he's, he's speaking. Uh, he's of. just messing with you, dude. He's not being serious anyway. Uh, but he's uh, move. Into me. He, doesn't know. he doesn't know. Yeah, he's just leaving you to cry yourself to sleep tonight. That's with right. Dillard. That's, that's his Dillard doesn't cry know what you're about. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, of course, we have a piece here from Todd Mulrooney. Uh, it isn't completely finished, but it's very close to finish. And he promised me, he promised me there would be no little butt packs. And I see two of them. Oh, you little... betrayed it. You betrayed yourself, Todd. <laughs> you just wrecked yourself. Yeah, it does look really good, though. And I do hope you finish this, Todd, because it's going to be a nice looking piece, dude. Uh, very nice, perfect uh, ba uh, hawk girl in her um, uh, in her element, uh, moving as she should. It's very good. He doesn't want to talk to me right now because he's upset, I guess. Uh, but. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, you're eating. I can hear it. You're eating something. There's what are you eating? Four pouches. There's four pouches. There are and four pouches. You're right. I do apologize. What are you eating? It's like a like little cheese puff. You're oh. eating it. You have a mouthful of cheese puff while I'm talking. You got like a barrel of cheese poofs? Bullet, get on him. Right. Damn it, Todd. Look how much stuff on our belt. I can just let it go. Yeah. No, it looks great, dude. It's a really good piece, actually. I uh, hope you finish yeah. it. Definitely uh, uh, throw it in on the uh, Facebook when you're done, dude. Very, very nice. So if you guys like what Todd is doing here, uh, even though it's not finished, it's all right. It's still great. You guys can see what it is. Uh, definitely vote for it in the straw poll. Uh, moving down here, we have Doug with us again. It that is badass, Doug. It's such a really good piece. It's so well-defined, even though it's not colored. It's comical. Uh, it's just... This is a really good piece, Doug. Good on you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I like the comical edge. I like that. That's kind of my forte, I guess. You know what would have been nice if right next to we had another, another panel with her walking away and over her back is a headless kiwi being tossed? <laughs> oh. oh, man. Don't do, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely do that. And, and, oh. and, and crunching sounds uh, written in, in the panel uh, coming from her mouth. It would be oh, great. Come a little, come a little, right. little, little, little kissy. <laughs> Smack, lip smacks, yeah. John, right. John, John has a comment. Oh, no. And he says that uh, without the spikes on Todd's mace, it looks like she's holding a personal massager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it be a very relaxing night in the bath. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, so if you guys like what Doug is doing and this cool piece he's drawn, definitely go on the straw poll and vote for him, guys. Uh, moving I bet it down sounds here. like thunder. Thank you. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, oh. Now, uh, he's not on the straw poll, but I'll just show it again. Cassie did come in at the uh, end, and he did a, a little cute uh, Disney uh, thing. 
Yeah. Do you want me to put him on the straw poll? No, anyway? no, no. Don't put I him mean, on. his no, art. No. Nah, don't. Well, put his art's here. Oh. His art's good. You don't want it on there. No, he said no. So don't put him on. Oh well. Uh, but, well all right. He doesn't. Uh, it is cute. cute. Fine. Fine. It is nice. But uh, I like Spicy they, Dillard tonight. Fine. He's very spicy in the chat tonight. tonight. Yeah, I like it. Being a little habanero. Bully. Uh, Doug will do another drawing of Hawk, Hawk, Hawk Girl's forehead on a separate paper. Oh, no. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, I think it's stylistic. I like it. Uh, and, of course, our last bit of art today, of course, is from Bullet. And he's got a uh, very, very ready Hawk Girl about to take on the world with her giant cleaver. Uh, so if you guys uh, like what he's doing, definitely vote for him in the uh, uh, straw poll. Uh, so are you happy with the Bullet? Um, it is what it is. Um, you know what I mean? It would just be far more refined after, like, you know, a little bit more tweaking, a little bit more posing. But, you know, it, it sure. is what it is. I'll, I'll live with it. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that's that. Uh, we've seen him. Uh, let me go through it real quick again. We got Zach. We got Mike. We got Josh. Our Mets. We have Todd. We have Doug's face. I don't want to see his face. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, Tester, you remember the enemy in Gotcha Man? I don't for Lennon. I do. Yeah. A little bit. He looks a little bit like. A little bit. Yeah, I get you. Uh, and of course, Doug had, Doug had that real co comedic, uh, stylistic thing. And uh, of course, uh, we also have Bullet. Now, uh, guys, uh, what's going to happen right now is uh, Booster is going to drop that straw poll in the uh, uh, chat. Uh, definitely get over there and vote. It's not the first like... poll that Booster's dropped on tonight. That's true. That is true. Uh, but, uh, Are you saying I go around attacking <laughs> Polish people? What? <laughs> or, or smoking them. That really wasn't even funny at all. You absolutely lost it. Go Do it no, again. Do it again. Uh, anyway, no, guys. I was trying to what he was saying. Go smoke a pole. Oh, what? oh, oh. Don't tell him what? that. He'll do it. What is all this? I don't know. Don't That's know a bit old to reference. Do you get that reference at all? No, I don't, I don't get that at all. Not at all, no. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, definitely get in there. Vote on that straw poll. Uh, and whilst man. you're doing that, we are going to look at the draw along. Now, we got Pets of Life just came in here. He says, sup, guys. Well, hello, Brad. Sup. Sub Nighthawk Warriors also in here. He says hi. Well, hello Nighthawk. Been a while, dude. Haven't seen you. Uh, but uh, all right, come on now, Booster. Do oh, you, oh yes, do yes, your I'm, job. I'm getting it. Do oh my god, give me a freaking minute, you dickhead. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we are. Here's the DNQFE hashtag for all of our draw longs today. We're right. starting off with I'm Eric ready. Scott Hawkins, who right. who uh, cheated because he put this up as soon as the uh, thing started. Uh-huh. Because uh, that's clearly a drawing that he <laughs> did four years ago, apparently. But that's still pretty cool. It is very cool, dude. I love it, actually. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Eric. It's awesome. He is the only Eric, by the very way. Nice the one Eric. and only. Uh, we don't support no, that We don't support that Weathers guy over here. Actually, we do. Uh, uh, we support uh, a lot. Only a little. All right. And uh, going on, uh, Alronus Flesh, for some reason, decided he put up Manimal. Um, <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Uh, we go Click back. on Manimal. Let's see it. There it is. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. We, Boom, baby. That's just sexy stare. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Coming at <laughs> you. <that>. Ladies <laughs> are trembling. Right mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be a flood That's what tonight. men look like, kids. Got... Oh, Jesus. I'm almost... Very nice. There is That's Jesse nice. Gonzalez's bit. Hey, nice, Jesse. Very, Very good, Very cool. Dude. Yeah, it looks Very great. Very cool, even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, um... Sure. A what is this? A Bo Bowie Zitir Cool J? I don't know how to say your name, but the, it's a very nice piece, however. Yeah, no, that is cool, dude. I mm -hmm. like it. There you go. She's jumping in action. Hey. She's got to crush Ooh. a booster skull. It's perfect. Perfect. Of course, uh, uh, I, I think there's a little camel toe going oh, oh. on there. A little bit of camel toe, but that's all right. Let that go. Oh, that's lewd. Anyway, is it lewd? Uh, I. So. What are you doing? Come on down. No, go back. What are you doing? Go back. No, no, you can't. No, uh -huh. what? Okay. You skipped one. I saw it. What? 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 What did you see? What? Did you, what did you okay, go back up. I, I go right clicked there. this. Yeah, click because that. Because Alrona's flesh is putting his stuff in the wrong place. Oh, does he? Oh, I see. Okay, but okay. Yeah, it's one of Alrona's flashes. It's quite cool. It is cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Look at it. 
That's a G. No, oh, he's spelling it wrong. He's pissing me off. I'm going all over the place. I'm chasing him around. You should fight. Anyway, him. here's number one of all the flesh. Oh, look at no that one, dude. Yet. Look at that. He's got boosters <laughs> everywhere. Lots of boosters. I guess it goes Little together. Boosters, one since it. Wow. Bird on bird bar. love, man. There's a very big one with a star on him. I don't know what's going on here. I think this one bald. <laughs> it's disturbing. There is a bald one. That's funny. Oh, no. Sweet. All and right. a, uh, would you look at this, Matthew Weldon. Matt, Matt, what are you doing, Matt? You're supposed to be in here. Oh, wow. That is cool, Hello. dude. That is wonderful. Look at that. Hot. I love I the booster theme. Look, he's looking. He's loving it. He's, mm, yeah. That is actually, that. That's, that might be the one of the best booster tributes I've seen, actually. That is really good, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh, The I expression on the Kiwi is freaking priceless. It's perfect. Yeah. I love it. And it's not the only one, either. There's another one, as well. Oh, yes. goodness. Uh, I love how the Kiwi wish, gets into Kiwi everything. Back, yeah. It's awesome, dude. We've created yeah. something. Mm -hmm, There's mm -hmm. actually a thing mm -hmm. with a fan edition. I, I do love it. Yeah. The pros have... don't got that. Why don't, we, why don't we do a theme? Why nice. Like, one meme. Mm -hmm. a, I have a mascot. Kiwi. Yeah, always have the booster have... mascot in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Several mascots, in fact. <laughs> we got Ezra Miller, too, yeah. yeah. That's a cool piece, though. And, Who uh, did this? Oh, it was Matt. Oh, another was Matt's. A, yeah. Another, another Matt Weldon. So here is a um, Junkyard Dawn being Dawn. cute. Sweet. Look at this. That is cute, dude. And that's a, that's a, that's a retake on her, uh, putting her in a mm -hmm. rocket and said, I like yeah, that, Yeah, this is dude. a bombshell hawk going mm -hmm. bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it, dude. Mm -hmm. That is cool, dude. Yeah, it's a really cool style for it. It is Love cool, it. dude. Jiminy's in here, by the way. Hey, Jiminy, what's going on, dude? And just so you know, Jimmy, you're not the only All one right. who can't finish in um, two hours. There are others. Oh, you're, good. No. you're not alone. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. Sting, Sting as well can't are finish are in ready? two hours. I'm ready. Oh, my. Love you, Chester. But I hear you're yeah, all the, the way in Korea or something. What's this with You have one guess. <laughs> well, it's John Dillard, obviously. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Goodness gracious, his, John. His uh, Post very it. confusingly sexy feet. I don't know. It's, it, He's it's good making feet, me confused dude. a little. I, I don't like feeling this way. I don't all like right. it all. Moving the, on. The moving on. It, it, moving on. Bulbs. Oh, God. Oh, okay. This... This person only has 10 followers. He's been doing quite a few of the uh, draw You know, Chino has been uh, on quite a bit, actually, doing look good at stuff, this. dude. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. nice. Look at this. Look at that. Very nice. The look at the wings, yeah. shading. Very nice, dude. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. Chino only has 10 followers. He deserves, deserves so much more. He does, man. This is this is incredible stuff. Jiminy says, degeneracy. It's not my fault. It's Booster and John Dillard's uh, uh, responsibility. I had no, nothing so. to do with it. 10 yeah. out of 10 bobs. Yeah, and mm -hmm. Pablo says, "Cool, I like it." <laughs> I like it. Of course, Pablo. Does. Oh, yes. of course, Pablo. Uh, does, another yeah. one from uh, El Rodimus Flash, who's at this time DN DNA. If he, he's lucky, I'm following him. I'm following him. It's Stick with one old here. Jack, little lady. Kurt Russell, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put me down Put me for down next week. week. Hey, okay, cool, dude. Oh, El Rodimus okay. is coming yeah. back next week, guys. Yeah. El Rodimus yeah. Flash is always welcome here. Oh yeah, he's badass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Feels like, feels so quiet in here. Is someone with like feedback leave? Yeah, Wait. they did. Yeah. Oh, my ears feel clean now. GCM. All right, is JCM? Nice, dude. JCM, that's a really what? nice piece today, dude. Really awesome action shot. I like there. that, dude. Yeah. She's a little off frame. A little bit, but mm -hmm. but I like it though. It's a good piece, dude. Looks like she's jumping out of the panel. Yeah, I think if he went and he he re reworked the leg a little bit, there's a little reworking he's got to do. But that actually could be a really good piece, dude. Keep working on that, mm -hmm. man. Who was this? Uh, this, uh, is this, Chino? Is this is actually my favorite. Let's JCM. This is actually my favorite of today's. This one. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Yeah. Is that supposed yeah, to be me? I Damn it. Yeah, this is a uh, Hawk Google Kiwi, Pusta Kiwi. Okay, who did this? Uh, who did this? This is, uh, this is from Chino. Ch Chino, you're out. <laughs> out. No, the, um, no, I will protect Get Chino. Him. Chino deserves a Don't followers. give him his coat. <laughs> That's it's funny. Perfect. Dude. I love That's it, Chino. Cute. And, uh, 
Erotimus. One more from Erotimus Flash. I <laughs> oh, who is this supposed to be? That's not Ezra. Who is that? I have <laughs> no idea what's happening, but it looks like a Ethan? wolf man of some kind. Or is it? Or are those? But balls? he's wearing a woman's breastplate. He is. Oh. He is. He most certainly is. Apparently, he ran out of uh, ink. But oh, uh, Ethan Hawk girl. Oh, oh Ethan Hawk. Ethan. Oh, oh, Ethan Hawk. I get it. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you Makes go. Makes sense. Makes All sense. Right. I get it. I see it now. All right. And All right. that's that. It's uh. All right, That's well, all of some today. really good pieces. I, I don't know who's, who takes it for today. Who had the best draw along, you guys think? Me, I'd say this. Is that Risey Lee? <laughs> uh, this is your favorite <laughs> here? Good. This one? I this think is this one. Really one. Good. I'm also a little biased, and I quite like this one. I'm digging it. <laughs> uh, this Matt Wells uh, is badass. John, Dillard. John's John, you too. vote for me, I vote for you. Of course. Now, who was the one you liked the best? Uh, w w that's JCM? Uh, this one's Matthew Mel Weldon. No, no, the one you had up earlier you really liked. Uh, this yeah, this Chino. is Chino. That's a nice piece, dude. Mm -hmm. It is a nice piece. That's incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good mm -hmm. on you, dude. All right, guys. Well, uh, that is awesome. We love doing the draw along. Thank you very much for all of that. Uh, next week, of course, do keep in mind here uh, we have our anniversary special, and we will be doing... Uh, we will be doing a uh, uh, big trouble in Little China, uh, and that should be. That's, there's so many characters to draw from that, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, definitely go back and check us for that. But of course, I'm going to go over and I'm going to vote, and I am going to read off uh, the winners and stuff like that. So let me see here. I'm going to click on the straw poll. All right. <clears throat> so it says, uh, "Who wins DNQFE subject at the last minute edition?" Well, thank you very much, Booster. So let me see here. I got Bullet, I got Doug, Todd, Josh, Mike, and Zach. Who should I pick today? Hmm. Hmm. Well, Jiminy's not here because I always vote for Jiminy, so I have to pick someone else. Hmm. Uh, Todd won that. <laughs> oh, what? I'm, uh, huh? Huh? Okay, I voted. I've done the voting. Oh, no. If you no. love, love, hate, hate, Joe. Now, we got 27 votes. We got well, 34 people in here. We were, and I'm going to wait till it's 30. That's it. 30. Oh, it's 28 now. Two more. Two more, and I'm calling it. Two more. Come on. Come on. Vote for Metsy. Come on. Have a shot. Two more. For Metsy. Vote for the robot. Oh, it's 29. It's 29. Six All right. more votes. All right. All right. Come, on. Come on. Actually, it's six uh, votes. Let's go, boys. And oh. now we're getting into it. Oh, we got a couple more dropped in. All right. I'm going to call it in exactly 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, yeah. One more. three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. All right. It's called. There it is. Uh, and I'm going to refresh it so I get a nice countdown here. Uh, it is on 32 votes. So thank you guys very much. That is awesome. And uh, all right. I'm going to start down at the bottom with the last runner up, the very last runner up. Uh, in sixth position, I believe, today. Uh, we have Mike Dalton also made it. Well, very nice with one vote. All Congratulations, right. Mike. Thanks. Thanks very for my nice. thank you. Thank you to my voter. Thank you to my voter public. Uh, did you vote for yourself? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you to that person who voted for Mike. Very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you to whoever that is. <laughs> all right. Uh, and then uh, in, Much appreciated. Uh, mm -hmm. And then with two votes, uh, which I'm very appreciate uh, uh, Todd sticking around and helping us draw. Uh, he wasn't expecting on doing that, but we really appreciate it. And it's a good looking piece too. Uh, Todd from Ignition mm -hmm. is not every uh, is not Eeyore. Okay. I see you're trying to make a joke. Booster's trying to be funny. I get it. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, uh, thank you very I'm much. I'm trying for just. To... I know you keep trying. Uh, I really appreciate you coming in, Todd, and helping us out today. It's awesome with you, dude. And uh, nice drawing. Thank you very much. I got you. Thanks, Thank dude. You claps, 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 claps. Very nice. All right, and then we have in fourth place, just out of the medals, unfortunately, Doug's piece is disavowed for me for hurting my feelings. Huh? Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, uh, and Doug it's seems to have dropped up. off, uh, unfortunately. Ah. But that was a great piece he had, though. It was funny. Uh, so uh, piece was very cool. It was very it was cool. Uh, and he got three votes for there. Uh, thank you very much, Doug, mm -hmm. for coming in, uh, uh, although it looks like we've lost him. Uh, but um, awesome, dude. Awesome. All right, moving into the medals now. In 
Uh, third place with five votes. We have Bullet is disavowed for bullying Todd. A lot of disavowing what? today. I'm, I'm never not disavowing Todd. I'm disavowing. <laughs> okay, he's been disavowed. So, so, so. Uh, but uh, disavowed, yes. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for coming in, Bullet. Really cool piece, dude. And uh, do remember, everybody, to put your art into the after show, into the Dropbox after we're done, okay? Uh, but uh, good job, Bullet, and congratulations on your silver. No, bronze medal. I do apologize. Lots of claps. Many claps. All kinds of black claps. And, and I'm, I'm by myself. What do you want? Uh, then moving up here into second place with seven votes. Uh, and the silver medal for today, we have Joshua Metz. Sigh. Unzips. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. Oh. Ninja, wow. I guess. Yeah. What? Yes, lots of claps. Oh. Fast clapping. Very oh. nice. Well, thank you very much, Joshua, for coming in, dude. <laughs> it's awesome. And then, of course, in the gold medal position, first place and Thanks going over me. to the pros again, I do believe. Uh, we have Zachary Riley has World of Gold Mo Go Back It. Oh, that's a nice little advertisement for the booster. Pretty cool. Uh, 14 votes, dude. So uh, thank you. congratulations, yeah. Zachary. Very nice piece today. Very nice piece. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, very great. That's so great. Now, uh, Zach, okay. you're, um, uh, you've been over the pros once before, I think, right? Right, twice. twice, twice. Okay, yeah. twice. And um, oh, yeah. how did Play you do up. over yeah. there? What, what what were your two uh, uh, rankings uh, over there? Let's see. The first time I did terrible, I think I was last. Okay, okay. Uh, the last time I was there, I was fourth. Okay, okay. So I'm, All right. I'm getting up there. All right. So he needs to win this time. We have not had a win on the pro edition in quite a while. We've had a bunch of them. Our first one was John Dillard, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, we need another win, Zach. So mm -hmm. I, I want you ready. I want you psyched up. I want no shyness from you. And you're going to get in there and you're going to kick their butt. You understand me? You're hyped. Yeah, like, I, I honestly think that, like, Zach is one of those okay, people so, that so. people are sleeping on right now. Oh, yeah. And that, like, later on, people are going to be, like, just like, oh, shit, I'm sorry I slept on that dude. Yeah, like, nah, he's really good, man. Seriously. I think, <laughs> and I'm going to be in some documentary being like, yeah, I deserve it, Zach, in the, in the chat one day. I let him on the show. So I'm you can pretty much thank Booster Kiwi for his career. Understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you all yeah, very mm -hmm. much for coming in. And here. as thank your you. official agent, I'll need ten percent of your earnings. Ten percent. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, hey, NASA just. Hey, I just want to let. Hey, Jiminy hey, did I not win, sir. I want to let everyone. <laughs> hey, I want to let everyone know that Aaron Lepresti is going to be on Coffee Akihabara on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, got, you guys probably <gasps> recognize the name. Hey. So why don't you come check out the show? Uh, he has his, I'll put in his own YouTube channel where he's drawing Garbage Man because he's going to be crowdfunding. Oh, so sweet. Here's his YouTube channel. And he'll subscribe. Yeah. yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I, I, Chester gets to uh, interview all kind of cool people over on uh, IndieCom TV. Uh, on my co coffee Akihabara. Uh, so that's cool. We had Billy Tucci last time, man. So nice. Uh, looking forward to that, but um, uh, thank you, chat. Thank you, artist. Uh, let me run right th uh, uh, through here real quick, uh, and I know Mortal V is ready, so uh, uh, just tell them uh, where they can find you and what you got going on. Go ahead, Zach. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Zach underscore DB, and you can find my current uh, campaign on Indiegogo uh, at World of Goldma, and there's two of them. Pick the one with the lady that looks like she's magical. Don't pick the other one. Oh, or just pick the one that's live. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Yeah, right. do that. Um, <laughs> Is that the only place they can find you, Zach? Uh, pretty much. I don't really... Uh, Twitter has become my, my main thing. Uh, I see. I thought you were yeah. part of that new channel. Well, it's okay. Oh, yeah, uh, the, Mortal oh, yeah, you v. can find me at Indy. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> disavow. Disavow, <laughs> Zach. <right? laughs> yeah, disavow. Yeah, well, you can find me over with the, doing stuff for IndieCom uh, TV channel yes, and YouTube. Very nice. Well, you know the TV, interesting thing here. TV. Our moderator, Mortal V, <laughs> he not only has found your Twitter, he's found your Instagram, he's found your other Twitter, he's found you on DeviantArt and the Artist Station as well yeah, uh, as your YouTube channel Boy, and so your World of Goma. So uh, you exist here in he's the chat. He's a madman. He is a madman. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Wow. I really do. I really yeah, you, yes. Did you even know you had an Instagram? He's really good at his job. No, I don't. I do post on it. I just. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's Instagram is kind of this weird balance of bots, so I, I really so. pay attention to it. Well, Mordo, you're awesome. Thank you very much, Zach. Uh, moving down, Mike Dalton, dude, tell them where they can find you. Uh, at Mike Daltonius on Twitter and uh, Mike Dalton Art on uh, Instagram. I think Mike Dalton Art on Facebook, too. Do you have any projects going on right now? Uh, not really. <laughs> Nothing right, really cool. going on. Uh, no problem. Uh, glad you came in here. Drawing. I'm, 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 tra I'm practicing. I, I, I didn't draw for a long time and got just recently got back into it. Got my drawing set up, table set up, and uh, just kind of starting over. That's awesome, dude. So, glad to have you here, man. Uh, you're always welcome, and uh, uh, you know, just keep uh, plodding at it, dude. And uh, you, you will yeah. elevate and elevate. We've seen a lot of people do that too, so it's awesome. Uh, thank yeah. you for coming yeah. on. All right, moving on here, we have yeah. Mets. Mets, what is this nonsense in front of me? What is this, honey, honey? Sugar, no, honey, honey. What is this? It's a bee. That's uh, oh. it's per it's perverted. Oh, um, sexual. You could, you could find uh, me, me all on confused. Twitter at legends underscore end, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be at Ramen Con this weekend. So uh, if you want to come see a print like this or even sexier. Uh, stop on by. Sweet. There you go. And uh, thank you very much for coming in today, Mets. Did you get any of that? Uh, we did. Actually, it was, that wasn't that bad. It was half roboted, <laughs> so I caught almost My every pleasure. word. Yeah. So you got to get your internet fixed, though, dude. All right. You do. Uh, okay. But definitely, Wonderful. he's going to... Uh, the only thing we didn't get very clearly it, is it's you're It's on the be, way. Oh, that's good. Uh, the only thing we didn't get super clearly was you were going to be somewhere this weekend. Where are you going to be? All right, then. There you go. Uh, uh, we, didn't, again. we didn't catch the, any of that. So say it again. Ramen con? Like, like ramen noodles? Uh, ramen con. Ramen con, as in ramen noodles yes. con. All right, cool. There you go. Mets, he wrote it in there. So that, nice. So go check that out, guys. You can uh, say hello to him, and you get some prints. Sweet. You're going to be in the artist alley, I'm assuming. Yeah, I uh, assume I'll actually so. be in the vendor hall. <laughs> you will. Uh, Jiminy is complaining at you. The uh, connection's dying. I must go. Well, no, that's cool. Uh, but Jiminy is complaining. He says, my mom's watching. Oh, well. Sorry, Mom. Uh, but uh, thank you very much, Joshua. Sorry, uh, moving down over here, we got Todd Milrooney on with us today. And uh, very nice. Todd, tell them where they can find you and what you got going on. And quite a bit, actually. Uh, I'm going to rely heavily on what's his name, this guy that does everything in the... In, uh... Mortal, Mortal v. v. Mortal V. Yes. Help me out here, buddy. No, you can find me on Ecom <laughs> TV. You can find me on a condition. Get, get tuned in. Uh, my name is just Todd Mulroney, and that's what I use. I don't have any monikers or bullets or anything like that. So you can find me yeah. anywhere. Well, and he's got your stuff up here as well. And, of course, <clears throat> he's also involved in uh, Indycom TV, so definitely go check that out. Uh, moving down here, we have uh, Bullet with us today. Of course, we have the punch line up. Uh, nice cover you got there, dude. Uh, so uh, tell us uh, where they can find you and what you got going on. Um, you can find me on Twitter at ZJ Ryan, um, where I just post random stuff here and there, like this weird punchline holiday special that I did uh, for fun. Um and uh, yeah, I have a, a channel where sometimes I play video games and it's just bullet on YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Good job. Rock on, dude. By the way. It is looking good, huh? Mm. All right. And then, of course, we have Booster. <sighs> where can we find you? Uh, it's me, Booster. I can be found as Booster Kiwi on all good things where Booster Kiwis are sold mm -hmm. on the Twitter mm -hmm. and the YouTube. Well, you know, I I, I, want, I like one thing, though, uh, Booster. Um, uh, we're seeing with the draw along. A lot of people are putting the Kiwi into their draw along. That's pretty cool, dude. I, I like, like that. I love seeing that. It's yeah. awesome. And it's it really happens cool so thing. organically, right? I, mm -hmm. like, it's a, I didn't have to big anyone or yeah. cry or anything. Yeah, it's, it's really it's cool, It's just the dude. Kiwi now. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. And uh, for all you guys are uh, doing, we're going to be setting up our crew for next week. Uh, it is our anniversary show next week, our one-year anniversary. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of big names in here, and uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a good show. Uh, and, of course, we're, the content is awesome. 
Little Big Trouble in Little China. Okay, count me in. Pixel, right. put me in. I'll All come right. back for the anniversary show, you know. There you go. And, uh, of course, uh, Mortal V, thank you very much. A couple people dropped up, but he's putting them in the chat as well, so good on you. And, uh, all right, guys, well, uh, that's it for today's show. It's been a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, uh, I will see you guys all later, and thank you all to the panelists. But uh, that's it for today, so uh, next week, later. Okay, bye. Flat girls are real.